remember that, and I puked. So, after the after the 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 chaos that was the um, special of the tornado special event, yeah, um, we proceeded uh, to, yep, yep. Uh, we while we made out pretty well, we needed to find safety because we were exposed. We were out of. Uh, What's the word? We were out of position. If a third party decided to tackle us then and there, we probably would have had a bad time. To that end, we did a little bit of healing, and we began the process of scouting out a safe place to... Um, a safe rest. place to rest. Thank you. That, to that end, with a little bit of uh, luck and some good rolls, we found a space going towards our rendezvous point on the corner of the mountains and the coast. Fortunately for us, there was evidence of a scuffle. A scuffle that had a mixture of human blood, thanks to our resident uh, chemomancer, uh, figuring that out, as well as beast blood. More human, or more humanoid, than beast. Which, as we found out, was a bad sign. Seeing as the beast that was part of that scuffle and its mate happened to be patrolling the skies. Whatever this thing was, this mixture of a wyvern, rock, whatever the hell it was, was not happy. Apparently we had disturbed it in some way and it decided to proceed to try its absolute gosh darn best to kill everyone. With a little bit of teamwork and some good roles, we were able to seclude ourselves away inside a small little dungeon or small little um, cave opening, which leads to a type of labyrinth. Apparently, yeah, Gal Galen got to f feel like a fucking hero mancer <laughs> for the first time. Mm hmm. With uh, with some clutch hemomancy as well as uh, you know some some you know clever placements and whatnot, we were able to bring up a dome so that we could rest. Thanks to our uh, the leader of the leader of the event here, and uh, are now have successfully been able to complete a short rest upon completion. Vaughn and um, Tyan did a scout outwards um, about two miles or so for half an hour. I think it was like four miles. Anyway, we traveled out a fair bit, and uh, we found. Um, none other than the prince's group, um, who had, uh, the prince's group who had met up with one of their, uh, one of their, um, I guess, uh, what's, what's the best word to use it? Convoy? Not convoy. That's a team working with a team. Uh, what's a good word for it? Okay. Either way, it, it's a two yeah, it's it's groups. A team, a team working with a team. I, 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 I can't partner? think of a, partner, partner, yeah, 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 partner, yeah, yeah. partner team, thank you. Working with a partner team to systematically wipe out all of the beasts inside said forest to power level their uh, different members of their team, which is a great strategy. Not sure what they plan on doing. Um, Kyan and Vaughn, still an hour out, contacted uh, Kier letting them know that there is a dual group between us and our rendezvous point. Specifically one that was the prince's group. Um, please, please, please uh, note that he is not the prince. He's the nephew. The nephew. He's, He's just the a guy. Nephew. He's the just nephew. a guy. Thank you. Royal relative. Nephew. Just, just nephew. Either, way, either way. Lord. Um, yeah, uh, the ward, but uh, the nephew, and so while we still have plenty of time, seeing as it's roughly 11 in the morning. God, it's only 11 in the morning? Mm -hmm. Shit. What time uh, did we get there? Oh, no, we've had our hour rest. Yeah. Oh, no, I just want to know what time we got mean shit to this me. entire fucking shit show. It was like <clears throat> 7, 8 in the morning. So we've been on this for four hours, god damn. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so with that being said, we have plenty of time to make our rendezvous point. But yeah, that's where we're at. Vaughn and Cayenne are hidden, um, and awaiting confirmation of what to go do next. With the mental link still going strong. Mm -hmm. 
All right. A uh, few points that were missed. Uh, um, sorry. It's fine. You just, just didn't mention him. Uh, it was also found out that something that you've encountered had been either magically, oh, that's or right. magically, or environmentally non-magical tools and uh, weapons, ammunition, things like that had been deteriorating. Yeah, so mm-hmm. like my knife, your... Does that mean that we could uh, cast some mending while we're in the Lehman's tiny hut? Uh, you could. I am uh, mending. Just, uh... All right, whoever knows have a mending. note that mending uh, would have... I think it's a 10-foot radius now? Or... Oh... Or I have is it no five idea. foot? I'm going to go it was... in DM's corner and see how it scales again. I thought it was just touch. So let's say it's touch or, or things like that. But you can have like mend several things. Is it magic emporium? Looking for it. Uh, uh, DM's corner, and it's in the pins. Uh, Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Increases to five feet at fifth level. Yep. So five feet worth. So that means that really we can we can mend a lot of stuff real fast. You can mend a lot of stuff real fast. It just takes a minute. But there's a lot of things to be mended because of. Well, Alistair can amend his own stuff, so there's that. Who else has mending? I have mending. Uh, you have mending? Okay. I have mending. I think um, that's it. So, I can, oh, I can do that. Apparently, it was a... At least the the impression or the uh, inflection in the voice uh, that Holson discovered that this man is married. Yeah, but she's going to share that. Mm-hmm. So. That's not her business. Mm-hmm. It is her business, but it's only her business, actually. No. Yeah, Perry. Perry needs, God, all of her tools fixed. Yeah. So. Uh, where we left off, oh, Perry and Alan went into tiny tools. The, the ring. That's where we left off. Yeah, yeah. Right. Wait, we what? went a little bit early because there's a lot of people that might have wanted to do something during the the, long, the short rest. I think that's yep. what it was. Which is the only people that were able to do stuff or wanted to interact. We'll, we'll give it to uh, Perry or Gallon, whichever you want to go first, since you guys went into the ring because you left early. So, if you want to do anything, uh, I was just going to show Perry what was in the ring. Oh, where? Oh, well, would you look at that? Oh, look. Pillows. Fountain. It just, it's, it's just filled with amenities. Uh, I can't remember all of them. If you could I can't tell us them, Akira. Do that. Says he has a fucking a bunker in there. It is He's quite like, impressive. Cool. It is the uh, most luxurious uh, fucking prepper bunker I've ever seen. It's like, like it's like it's like the inside of a genie's lamp. It is. Oh, that's cool. Is that right? Uh, like like almost exactly. Maybe. And it has a an a, an endless water fountain. It was quite in handy, and it's stacked with food and beds, cushions. So it's just somewhere to relax. Mickey, the world will never know. Is he alive? Hello, hello. Boy. There he is. 
Yeah, what's up? Mic issues? Okay. Oh no, I think he was just muted. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. They wanted to. That was just wanted muted while I waited. Uh, they wanted a description of uh, the inside of your your lamp, your your ring. How many of you has gotten to Jenny's lamp at Baldur's Gate? Uh, nope. No. Nope. 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 Well, then that's going to be a tough description. Oval. It's oval shaped, twenty foot. Um, it's a twenty foot radius filled with fine silks. Low table. There's no chairs or anything because he lies on the ground with a fountain on the side that constantly pours out fresh water. He keeps uh, crates on the side. In the side that's just full of food. It's like 120 days worth of rations in there. As well as a uh, bathroom that is clogged off with it. Or not clogged off, but separated with a um, with one of those visual separators. I don't know what they're called. Privacy, uh... Privacy shower. Yeah. Privacy screen. Whatever. So, they're just called privacy screens. Yeah, yeah privacy screen. screen. So there's a bathroom in there. There's, there's a bathroom in there with a... Uh, with a automatically cleaning uh, toilet and bathtub, and a bunch of food, bunch of food, clean water, soft beds, and it's at a very, very cool, consistent temperature. Stay nice. The walls are lined with gold, and the ceiling is a giant sapphire that we can see out of. Yeah, Gallon, Gallon brought Perry in there. This is awesome. Yeah, so just uh, relax. Wait. Oh, sorry about throwing you again. That uh, just was a kind of heat of the moment thing. No, it's all good. Just you know, maybe a little bit of a heads up next time, so I don't puke on anybody else. Anybody else? Fair. I'll do that. And that's it. I want to look at the tooth, the orc tooth, or tusk that I got. It has a lot of uh, plaque on it, for sure. All right. A uh, bit of cracks, but overall, it's not a dead tooth. Well, it was a dead tooth, but like you know, but I mean, freshly. Could, well, this w- would dumb. mending work on a tooth? Like Would mending that. work on a tooth? It, it's a tooth that's no longer attached to a body. So it's, it's very no true. Living. But mending wouldn't take off the plaque. But would it get rid of the cracks? Oh, Perry's not concerned about that. She's just trying to think of what the fuck she can do with it. Like, yeah. she'll take out a sketchbook to start, you know. It's, it's about the size of an average thumb. Okay. Like a little bit below the knuckle, you know. Mm-hmm. Make a make a pretty decent arrowhead. Yeah, probably what she's thinking. Or Stein for you. Probably. She's just like flipping through her sketchbook, and she will flip to a page in the back and just kind of like look like scan her list and then just like kind of not happy to her happy happily to herself the he all right we'll fast forward to where mm-hmm. uh Kyan and Vaughn come back from their scouting mission or try to get a response god damn I am out of here guys You're not out. You're just fucked. I think. Because I left you some unless you used them. I did use it. Oh no. You're out of it. (laughs) Oopsies. Well, that is unfortunate, sir. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Where shall you uh, get the rest of your, your, your HP? I could lay on hands myself, but I want to save that. Mm, yes, the healing hands. <laughs> the healing touch. You got the touch. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, hands off. Okay. So, no, uh, I mean, do, do you want to go back to the cave and wait for them, or do we want to have keep our position? Uh, what are we? Because we're like a mile away right now. Like, you're a mile you're away. away. Well, we are. And if they swear, I would say go back because there's no way the two of us can take on these fuckers. <laughs> well, no, we're we're we are really we're, we're far away from them. We are we're you're not already retreated. Them. You're just a mile away, so you can actually have that communication with the cube. Hmm. So I guess we just let him know. Yeah, we let him know, let and him know. Uh, I guess we're waiting a cure's uh... here to, to do with that information. Yeah, yeah, we're just the information to do what you to do as you wish. We're here if you need us. Yep. I'm just trying to think because uh, not sure. How many people know what the traveling, whatever is, in D and D? But even though long rests are only eight hours, you're only able to travel without force marching for eight hours a day, and then you spend sixteen hours resting, either building camp, doing other work, blah blah. blah. Mm -hmm. So that means we're getting close. Well, I don't, I don't know how close. Again, how long have we been at this? Has it been? Is it close at eight hour mark? Four hours. It, it has been four four to five hours almost. So that means we five hours with the rest. So that mean we have that means we have enough energy to only go on for another four hours. Yeah, no. Um, well, I, I mean, if you ask Lon, like we're on we're on defense. Our focus should be to make it to our rendezvous point. I only have four spell slots left. Mm -hmm. Two thanks to the level. Go ahead. I have two into two healing cure wounds in a sit turn left over. One first level spell and one fourth level spell. My stuff is kind of fucked. <laughs> yeah, no, I got a rage. I got a rage. So I, I got some. I got a decent amount of material, but I can only really do one more serious fight before I'm just um, tapped. I can I, do, I do have some no. Spells. I can do none. I can do none. I do I have am, some spell slots, but I have single level spells. Actually, no, I don't. I have some single level spells. I'm not really um doing too hot. Warlock point wise, I don't get anything back on a short vest. Um, so I haven't really earned anything. Um, so I'm pretty, still pretty fucking tapped. Um, I have a part few spells left. Part of me thinks that we should wait for them to move on and then try to stealth pass and make it straight to the run of you. Save all of our points for defensive whatever. No. Yeah, Alistair has three second level spell slots. Now, I do have some silly little spell slots. Um, some silly little spells that I can play with them with. Like, I can, um... I was thinking about the having like the idea of maybe like sending a message to one of them and like lying well, yeah, essentially. I, I think you have to be more or less within what they could perceive as visual range to be able to do that though. Um, no, I do not. Well, how far? Wherever on the plane that I need to be. I need to be. So like, I can send him a message right now. Like my my, uh, my my all my spell descriptions are gone. What? No description. Uh, just all you. Of my, all of my cantrips, but none of them have no their description. descriptions anymore. Just you. What? Well, I'm no, looking at the cantrip art. I can tell you what they are. It's very annoying. Which spell? And I'll tell you the definition. The fuck? They are homebrew as hell. They're oh, all gone. Man. 
<laughs> well, they, they were there. They were. They were definitely there. Oh no. Myself. Does that mean well, all the fucking non fucking compendium shit for, for all my character sheets fucking gone too? No, because my stuff that I entered <laughs> in that isn't compendium and or like normal shit is still here. It's on roll twenty. Oh. Then okay. maybe. Oof. So yeah, you're just fucked. I'm my my shit's not. <laughs> mm -hmm. This gallon in particular. Wait, I might not be unscathed. Wait, what? What? Wait. Why did it wipe mirror image and misty step, but not fucking siphon? Yeah, my hunter's mark is fucked up too. And consumption. No consumption's but, there. I but everything else is there. Maybe. But hunter's Why the fuck is shield fucked up? This is fucked up. Mm -hmm. I feel Sounds fucking like, hacked. Sounds like all official, all the official that spells was, and everything got messed up. And all the homebrew shows was. let us stay. No, my homebrew shit is fucked up. We're opposites. We're fucking mm. fraternal up in well, this except bitch. For, except for, or, except so for Hunter's Mark, that one is fucked up as well. Okay, well that's... Hope well, that's, that's not... That's gonna take some real time. Hope that's not on a bunch of roll twenties. Huh. <sighs> okay. Because like on Sunday we have like four different four. games on roll twenty. Oh, I, my I don't want to think about it right now. Uh, yeah, I'm my, not gonna look at my other things on roll twenty at the moment. Yeah, that's, that's just gonna that's, freak me the fuck out. It's like there's <laughs> a reason we stopped using it. You know what? I took, I got beef with I got beef with Foundry too. So. It's just different beef. <laughs> it's different beef. I got beef with all D &D One's beef platforms. wellington, and one roast beef. One okay. is significantly better than the other. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. yes, continue right. with your... Continue with your game. Okay. So, trying to figure out what you guys are, are planning. So, you guys are going to let them go by... But you currently don't have eyes on them, so you don't know where they're going. No, um, we can keep eyes on them, so we know exactly where 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 they're going. But that puts us at pretty dangerous risk. So, do you want us to retreat back to the cave, and we could just, you know, do our best to avoid them, hoping they leave within the next hour? Or that's a rough one. Yeah. I don't know. They weren't going this way, were they? No, as far as we know, they were they were hunting in their area that's like three miles away. But they but if they were if they were not going south, then we might be able to just march our way up to you without having to worry about it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But um And then you can keep an eye out, see if they come back. Mm-hmm. So we can march out an extra mile out northward and uh, and just hide and wait for you to get there. You know what? I'm going to cast your no, on myself. I, I want more HP. So yeah. Okay. So do you want to We'll go ahead, and uh, if that's what you think, if because um, I'm I'm okay with that idea, personally. Anyone else have anything? Um, we could just wait. Um, if we don't want to wait, I can try to play mind games. Well, here's also the thing: but those of us they probably the also have tracked. Those of us inside the ring to be carried by the stealthiest member of the group outside the ring. That's that's there. Ooh, oh, Perry. 
Yeah, all of us can go in and let Perry uh, Perry roll her stealth and get us there without without a, a problem. Which means I am not going to exit the ring. That is true. But do that. Well, those that have already entered the ring cannot go back in it again. Yeah, so, so only just don't leave. Yeah. Yes. Which means Kyan can't go into the ring. Oh, yeah, Ky- yeah, but Kyan, yeah. yeah, but Kyan's out stealth is, uh, is with Vaughn. Oh, that's that right. Doesn't, that part doesn't matter. So, doesn't matter. Yep. so, so the only people can that save us all right now. Oh. So, the only people that would need to get in the ring is Holson and Halister. Yep. And then, My dog. Le- and then Perry can leave, take the, yep. uh, take the ring, and fly. You get all that, Perry? Yeah, sorry, I'm still looking for my glasses, but I got it. Cool. So, right. that's our plan. Nice. I mean, that's a good plan. Perry needs to roll it. stealth. Do we have anything to help buff Perry's stealth? Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean the, only, the only things that would help her would be things that would not would be more than like one action, like extended help. Well, enhanced ability lasts for an hour and gives you advantage on deck yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking, and or like, I know pass without a trace, but that doesn't work. We're entering. Yeah, you have to be. Yeah, I mean, but wouldn't it be next? No, it wouldn't because you're yeah. not physically there. Te- mm. Technically, nothing should work outside the, from outside to inside the ring. We just have a mess- message and um, and gotcha. sending to work because one because it's fun mm. and it's not game breaking. All right, so so I can cast enhance ability on Perry, but because I can only cast it at fourth level, I can also get two other people with advantage on Dex. Dex checks. I mean, I won't de- say no. I mean, it's not Dex saves, but I don't know if a single Dex check that could help you. I don't know. <laughs> so I'll cast it on Perry, Holson, Zara, and myself. So for the next hour, for the next hour, the four of us have advantage on dexterity based ability checks. Sick. Yeah. So, it, so I'm guessing Perry is stealthing now. Yep. Roll two d twenty. Okay. No, is Perry part of? Well, you can tell us. You can watch us. You watch exactly where she is. Because... Yeah, everybody can see and outside of the ring. Hmm. So like a big old big screen of it. Yeah. I um, forgot. I forgot. Stealth was so long as. Perry has the ring out and not in the pack. Yeah, she, I mean, I mean, she can, in quotes, wear the ring like a bracelet. Yep. Like a hula hoop. <laughs> no, sorry, she's not that small. She's uh, that small, damn. She's not Thumbelina. No, I'm I not Thumbelina. Just, sorry, different different species, I apologize. You're good. That was profiling. Uh, yeah, as long as Perry doesn't drop the ring, it'll be fine. No, I Don't mean, she'd wear it. it. Don't just throw it in the nearest lake. We need that. Oh, she'd wear it. Throw it in the whirlpool. Sparkly. <laughs> Go around. It. We're, gonna, we're finally going to see what's down there. <laughs> I will mumble that it doesn't go with my outfit, and that's kind of it. I, I mean, I mean, it's gold and blue. That means shit. I'm pink. <laughs> yep. Blue. Wait, you think, she's you think pink. You think pink and, pink a good and blue? Who's a complimentary color to pink? Yeah, I think no. blue don't go together, pink and gold don't go together. No, it just it doesn't. It doesn't. So the it only doesn't. time I ever <laughs> see pink and blue mixed together <laughs> is uh, a, a twin baby room and fucking yeah. sherbet or cotton candy ice cream. And yeah. those are all great. So I rolled uh twenty six for stealth. Yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, also, yep. no, also no, while stealthing and moving, you move at half speed. 
right. But we'll still see. But she still has a lot of speed. So yeah. Right. Oh, that much. Oh, and she... also, as, also as it says there, if you get knocked out of the sky, you don't take any falling damage if it's twenty feet or less. You ready to get knocked out of the sky? No. It's probably gonna happen, but I mean. If it does, you okay. won't take fall damage from it. I'm not ready for it. No, you'll take other damage. It's fine. Okay. Take other damage. Oh, I can't wait to get my next Eldritch Invocation. Mm hmm. So, with that roll, you're able to, quote unquote, blend in as a bright pink <laughs> against the desert sand. I wear, I wear black. <laughs> I pull my hood up. It's fine. Jesus Christ. Don't think about it too much. It's fine. Yeah, think bright about pink and, and like hot topic early two thousand five. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Yes. You know. You know the people. Uh, yeah. I am the people. We are the people. <laughs> what do you mean, you? Sorry. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> what do you mean, you people? Talking to Zoomers. Uh. <laughs> You're able to, uh, all three of you are able to coalesce in a single space. Alright. Alright then, so, we're trying, are we, are we waiting or are we going to make a, make a we'll chance see. at getting past them? We can stay in the ring for up to six hours. Well, now five hours for everyone except for Holson and, uh, Hauser. Alright, well, in that case... Uh, would you? Or would you? Saying, hmm. saying how our three stealthy people are out there, you might be able to make a uh, make a move for it. We probably can, and even so, we could probably between the, the three of us, we could probably make a run if necessary. Okay, Not sure how many Bonner. people that are you know, where we're fast. fast, and Perry can bomb yeah. dash. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not that fast. If we're sprinting, you're faster than you're you're faster than both of us, actually. Double dash. Yeah, but that makes her have to do constitution checks. Yeah. Yeah, but remember she can dash for a number of rounds equal to her con mod. And then mm -hmm. she has to start making those saves. Mm -hmm. Her con mod is not... Not... No. Is, Plus is two. Not. Yeah. So... All right. So you guys are going to attempt to skirt around if they're still there. If we if we see uh, uh, heads or tails, we'll stealth re regardless, primary pre beforehand. Okay. So uh, you three roll me a group stealth check. Uh, while that's happening, Halister is examining everything. Uh, like, not not the linens, pillows, and like the yeah. the structure of the ring. Oh, like cool. doing doing knocks on it, like looking at like any seams and things like that. This second. Just well, examining they, the ring. Did they find anything that he doesn't like? Uh, not at this moment. He's just examining it. Uh, what do you want? 11. Uh, so 29. Got 11. Vaughn got a 25. Kyan just laid dumbass. I, I think you guys are okay. 11, yeah, it says the group is the three of ours. Yeah. The 29 and the 25 help out a lot. And you didn't get lower than 11, which is bad. I mean, you're probably, like, your lowest roll, but... The group average is 22. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we will keep an eye out to see if we do see them, because if we can keep tabs of their location, that's always good information to have. Well, first you're going to give me whoever's leading this pack a survival check. Um, you have an easier path there. I think that would be Vaughn, if it's a front runner. No, no, no. Uh, do you want to assist me with that? 
Does she have proficiency? Yeah, she has proficiency with uh, with survival. Nice. Yeah, right? Okay, as a hunter, I hope so. Oh uh, yeah, plus six. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a ranger. Yeah. All right. No, 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 no. I get advantage, which means. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I'm just rolling good tonight. Uh, twenty six. All right, you're able to utilize uh, the slopes of the dunes to your advantage, uh, not having to go over several steep hills, uh, basically doing slides and going in between each of the uh, uh, low uh, valleys of these dunes. Mm -hmm. And able to make pretty good time, even if it was uh, technically at half speed. Mm -hmm. um, as you get closer to your area, go ahead and roll me perception checks. Okay. Perception. The fuck? Do you remember the number? <laughs> uh, huh? Yeah, and stop going crazy with it. Look at me, but every speed. I'm gonna reroll mine. What is okay? Apparently, the gods hate three sets of dice. No quartz. No better. All right, come on. Okay, uh, yeah, there was a. That was a perception. It was a ten. Ten. Okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Fourteen. Fourteen and a twenty-one. Dumb tonight. Rogues are so fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Perception ain't that great. I just these dice like me. You don't see them. Okay. And Perry, from was any details given to Perry? Uh, I don't think so. They were just yeah, I don't know what we're looking for. No, she she would know what we're looking for. What I? Yeah, we would have told you. We right would have whispered it. If Kyan don't knows, and you know. Okay. Uh, you don't see any of the people that you you're looking for. <laughs> Are there any any leftovers either? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. Is there any creatures around the area that we could pick off real quick for either Kyan or Perry? Maybe we're just the first ones here? No, we're not the first ones here. No, I meant of the people that we're supposed to be meeting up with. We're not meeting oh oh of those people. Um, yeah, um oof. not quite sure. Because first we'd have to find a location. Did did we specify if we were going for like the middle mountain or if we were going like closer to the edge? Uh, we just did a mountain pass. Well, the mountain pass running around there. Yeah. I mean, it's still early in the day. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and get to a good vantage point. So I'll. The higher, the better. Okay. You know, the most vantage point is those mountains. So you can need to cross that area. Well, we'll travel through the mountainous area to get to a good high point where we can get a good visual around us. I'm asking, are you going through the area that they were in? Oh no. Well, if we can skirt past it, we will. But okay. If, yeah. Can I add a little bit of time to your travel? Yeah. No, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll only go through it as necessary, like the edge of it, and I, that we, we remember seeing them. Okay. Uh, the closer you get to the edge of that um, pass, there doesn't even seem like there was a skirmish here. Mm hmm. Nothing. Yeah, when you have uh, 18 people hard-focusing three or four targets, it's not really a fight. Mm. 
not what I was talking about. Go like, ahead. There's no evidence of a fight. You say that, but remember the Grim Grey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is odd, because you know that there was one. Mm-hmm. Oh, at the area where they... Where the nephew was? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going past it. We just noticed that there's no evidence of a fight. What the fuck? I, I say this to myself, I'm just... Fuck. Um... I'll be uh, trying to keep an eye out for traps as well as we're traveling through, so. Uh, I will need another stealth check as you're moving into a new area. Me or you? Oh, so everyone. Come on. Perception? Or stealth? Stealth. I mean, (laughs) I'm re rolling that. You're, you're, you're nicer. Mike, uh, this is tonight. my fourth D20. Three of them are already... Oh, there you go. There you go. That's way better. It balances out. So, 20 plus... A lot. A lot. 20 plus... No, 19 plus... Oh, oh, 19 plus... Wait. Seven. Seven. So, yeah. 26. 28. 28. Uh-huh. 11. 11. Yeah, you guys are making your way. Uh, And another survival check as you are starting to make your way through the stones. Want to help me again? Yeah. Pointy. Mm -hmm. There's a net one in that, and I don't like it. We all don't like that one. Twenty? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. You make your way... Uh... Going through... This... Hesitate to see mountain pass because there's no... Worn roads via travel. They're mainly climbing. Uh... Through certain cracks and crevices. Uh, You notice that there is a level of heat to the stone that you are climbing across, as well as a heavy uh, set of residue. Like ash that covers you and your fingers as you mosey your way by. Well, on the bright side, I don't think we're going to struggle keeping warm this evening. I guess not. We'll continue forward. Yeah. And then. You notice the other stones. More of a amberish clay and crystalline hue mixed in with the uh, pure slate gravel and other mountainous rock. Um, I would look to either Cayenne or Perry. Um, these uh, these rock formations, do they mean anything to you? Uh, what do I need a rope, Mitch? You wouldn't uh, know anything. No, I'm I know. I was just going to say, I have a feeling I would know even less. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, send a mental link into the into the ring to Akir. It was so it was Akir Cayenne was it Gallon and uh that was in it? Or was it Holson? I think I did Holson this time, oh, that way she Holson can be part of the conversation. There was yeah. six people attached. No, there's only, last. there's only four. The six is how long the, the link lasts. Oh I got in it. So yeah it was um it was me it was me Vaughn 
Cayenne because she's also scouting and Colson. Um, I'll, I'll I'll have a uh, Perry come closer and like point the ring at the stone. Is any can anyone identify it via the uh, big on screen inside the ring? I don't know if we would uh, get a good view inside the ring, but I'll have to like him. I mean, it's not the best. Yeah, the ring specifically says that we can hear anything in our in our area. You guys don't need the link to talk to us. It doesn't, oh, say, anything yeah. about, it doesn't say anything about seeing. That's just something that we add for flavor. Yeah. The, oh. You can see things okay within like a foot or five feet. Yeah, Trem, just imagine looking oh, through yeah. broken glass or a literal gemstone. How close yeah. is it? How close is it, the ring to this thing? We'll say, like, gets real close. It's... It is strange material. Uh, what's everybody's background in the ring? Uh, oh, hero. Um, give me, like, I would take, guess- would take a guess for Gallon Figure. Haunted One. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, take a fucking guess. You know yeah. what my background is, actually. <laughs> uh, actually I'm very clear. You know what my background is. I do know what your background is. It's just. I make it very clear. Yeah, because. Uh, Zara's background is Summon Dragon <laughs> Traveler. And yeah, you, know, you know what? I think the Haunted One background is white fitting. I think yeah. Gallon's background is actually oh, secretly. Yeah, secretly uh, Secretly acolyte. Yep. Or aristocrat. A guy in a secret background is aristocrat. He's just a very edgy aristocrat. Charlatan, I am a weeb. <laughs> I am a far traveler. All eyes on me. You're a far traveler? Yes, sir. And Perry is a tinkerer, right? Mm. I think that's what I think so, yeah. Mm. We'll find out. After these messages. We'll find both. After the... I have a piece of paper in front of me. It doesn't tell me anything about that. Yeah, it would say background and then like your background feature. Outlander. Matt. Outlander. Uh, Outlander is basically basically, hey, everyone's interested in you. Mm-hmm. You come from a different culture, so people want to talk to you more. We're a bunch of weirdos, Perry. The only one that would have any chance, and it would still be a disadvantage, would be Hollister. And Far Traveler. What does your feature say for Far Traveler? Far traveler, if I believe your accent, mannerisms, with your speech, and perhaps even your appearance, all mark you as foreign. Curious, what's like, the ability that comes with it? Parlay this attention, I access it's just all eyes on you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, feature all eyes on you. Yeah, sorry, yeah, so all eyes on you, and then and that, means that, that means Outlander one is the hey, guess what? You don't. He automatically forage enough food for everyone in the party if you have enough, whatever. Yep, you know, and it's the, it's the geography as well. You have an excellent memory for maps and geography. Interesting. Okay. Actually, Perry would have a slight chance. <laughs> Which is a fun one. Cool. Perry, you can either roll me nature or you can roll me arcana I... I mean Perry is smart um if you so if she so she could roll either nature or arcana yeah uh um I have so is it possible that I could give her advantage if I was like I have proficiency in both nature and arcana? Do you have the ability to make direct contact with her? I could chit chat with her through the ring. If she asked I'm me like, like message. 
Well, remember that the ring. Yeah, I do uh... have message. <laughs> I do have message. Actually, <laughs> um, because I have that through my sword. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to ask me either nature questions or arcana questions, I can give you quick little answers. Mm -hmm. I should roll and see what happens. Oh, okay. But if if you're if I can help you, then you get advantage. That's a very high DC. So. So. I desperately would like to help you. <laughs> because I want to know what the hell is going on. I mean, I'll like, kind of do I, I was just going to say, do I, has it, it been communicated to me that I can talk to the ring and y'all can hear me? I can talk to you. So if you were, if I, I have. You can chime in and attempt to give her. Message. Message is, message is a two way thing. Yeah. yeah so there. like. So, like, if I hear you talking and reading whatever you're doing, I can message to you and just be like, Hey! hey. It's this. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, fine. like, this, I would but walk like, over and I would could describe it. I don't know. If, they, if, I, if I know that they can't really see it that well, I would walk over and try to give, like, a decent description of what it is. Yeah, so roll nature or arcana with advantage, but it's still going to be a very high decision. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be super high because you're asking what our backgrounds are. Is Holson <laughs> is Holson really that injured? Um, yes. Dirty twenty. Um, yes, yes, she is. I'm going to use a oh, spell. I'm going to use. I'm yeah. going to use my last first level spell slot on Holson to get her not that injured. Okay. Yeah. Fair, fair enough. Twenty-two health points. Okay. Twenty. Hey. So, dirty 20? Yeah. You get a little bit. Alright, Holson, you regain 18 hit points. Oh. That's Leaving the way you did, mm. you had to cross a couple different roads. Not necessarily on the same plane to get where you were trying to get to. But it was the fastest way you were going to get there. That you know of. This reminds you of a very, very warm place that you stopped in for a day or two on your travels. Uh, a lot of the people weren't very hospitable. Um, if you found people at all. There was... A very... Pretty, but very morally corrupt and bankrupt type city compared to uh, the material realm. You're not too sure and re remember too much, but the this the place that you visited. Uh, had this type of material around, uh, it's elemental glass or uh, cinder stone. It. You don't really remember the name of the city. It was like the city of like some sort of metal or something. But you only stopped in there for like a day or two and then popped yeah. in. You saw a bunch of very neat machines, though. Right. Yep. I would That's communicate all, yeah. all that and be like, yeah, it's like some sort of a... I think they, were, I think they called it Cinder Stone? Huh. That's all I really remember. All right. Is it something to be? Is it a sign to anything dangerous that you know of? Hmm. I wasn't there long enough. That's fair. That's really, fair. I didn't really find out. I was there like a day, and then I I fucked off in the morning. Oh no, that's fair. That's fair. They weren't well, really that nice. Okay. Well, 
on that note, I believe it best to be on our way. If it, uh... no, no, I just have a feeling. Just keep mindful. Hopefully, that's. And we'll continue forward, trying to find again a good high vantage point. Yeah. Uh, vantage point and being safe are not mutually uh, inclusive. I get that. Uh, uh. So, the thing with this is having a vantage point is very few and far between here. Because it, it seems to have many almost undercroppings that you have to go through to this mountain without getting into the higher elevations. Where All you right. almost have to shimmy and squeeze through these almost broken and sharpened stones. You would probably... Yuvon in particular would probably attribute the stones and their natural structure very close to that of like goblin sharks and things that would be like aquatic near your home. Just like rows of rows of broken and dis uh, disconjuncted or mm -hmm. All right. wildly broken rock. But with the survival, you're able to make most of your way and not have any real incidences. Um... You do see the forest nearby in the distance at times that you are able to keep yourself above ground. Alright. Um, so we've been traveling roughly for two hours now. With the stealthing. Yes. Alright. Uh, in that case, uh, that means we have roughly about two more hours before we need to to make camp so in that case um can we locate can we focus on locating <sighs> do, do, do. not being able to communicate with the other teams makes this difficult we kind of have to uh do you want to communicate with the other teams oh um, you want to? Yeah, no, no, no. It's like, if we're going to actually go to sleep soon, mm -hmm. I can send a message. Okay, well, first let us find a spot, and then we can send a message. So we'll go ahead and, uh, actually, how many times can you do that? How many points do I have left? Let me see. Um, so as a fifth, as a fifth level warlock, I have 42 points. Cool. Right, Lycan? Yeah, you have 40, uh... It's either 42 or 44. It's gonna be 44. 44. I have used... Two, two spells at second level. It should so, be in your pen. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to do math. Yeah, it's okay. Um I should have enough for a third level spell. Maybe two.
So. Yeah, I, sh I should have enough for two sendings. For two sendings. Mm-hmm. All right. Do... So there's, there's a couple ways we could do this. One, we can send a message to both teams and tell them where to meet us. Or we can throw a gamble and see if one of them is already waiting for us. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, we, we have the ability to communicate, which means they also have a response. It is to say that these teams don't also have the ability to send. That's true. It's coming. Okay. So, in that case... We have enough time to get to just about any spot in this map or the square, if necessary. So... I say we try to get as far as possible. Well, I mean, first first we want to make sure we meet up, because there's a lot of mountain. We could be camping on one mountain, and one of the teams camp on another mountain, and that just kind of defeats the purpose. So, with that being said, um, let's... I would say let's go ahead and send our, I would say let's send a message to our sister team, uh, Akir's uh, friends, um, and do, can I see a, a safe location nearby to camp down roughly within visual distance of where we are at the moment? Well, you're definitely on the low end um, of the area, so g give me a perception check. While well, he's doing that, Akir, who is on the sister team? No. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not at right, advantage. Well, uh, I woke up like real early, early this morning. Um, the sister team is Miska, Sorik's daughter. There is Rasham, Rasham, my uh, Le the Leonin. Um, I forget the name of the historian. Uh, Thesis. Yeah, Thesis. Thesis, the historian. They had. Oh, they had the scratch two. and. Uh, yeah, they had the two, the two, the two hires on a one-off. I don't know them. Scratch. They also had Monty. And Monty, Monty yeah. Turtle. The dragon turtle turtle. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know a yeah, single one a, of those people. You big fucker. <laughs> well, you met Miska. Um. Yeah. There was also that swordsman uh, that they brought on. Uh huh. And um, they brought on a. Uh, They brought on one other person. Who was it? Let's see. It's not going to matter because I probably don't know them. So I'm going to have to message Miska. Um, what do we want to say? Well, first, I want to see if I can find a decent location to travel towards and then send them a message now saying, meet, uh, like uh, a location with a noticeable landmark. First, I want to I want to find that first, so everybody can see us. Yeah, well, we're not so that everybody can see us, so that we can say, "Oh, we are in a location near this" via a message that I'm pretty sure can't be intercepted. No, I don't so that think they so. can find us. You know, so we don't have I mean, to give a very counter spell me if they see me casting sending, but. If you get counterspelled, we're in a much deeper situation than we consider, or we're, we're just conversing, so. So with the 17, can I see something from uh, where we are that we can oh, utilize? Oh, you do. You have two choices. Uh-huh. 
You can go further down closer to the beach where the woods are. Or you can go further up where you actually see some ledges. All right, Akir, by the beach, not worrying about the mountains and the potential for, you know, strange elemental activity, or by the beach on the with the where the forest meets the mountains, the corner. There's more places to hide in the mountain, but the any encounters at night would be more difficult. But that said, with my tiny hut, I don't think that will matter as long as we find a place to set up for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, my vote is more in the mountain end. Yeah, I don't more want to be so mountain. exposed. I feel like we're going to be exposed on the beach. Yeah, I, I feel like that too, but like I said, Vaughn is going off of uh, Akir's uh what Akir thinks is best. I, I, I feel safer in the mountains, personally. I think we have uh, less risk of being ambushed by another team, but I think we increase our chances of dealing with some sort of creature. I mean, I could deal with a creature. Mm-hmm. So, into the mountains, then? Into the mountains, that's okay. Alright, and can I... Can I uh, identify a noticeable landmark to mark the mountain that we're on to make it easier for the opposing other teams to find us? You want to find a landmark that is yeah. that is noticeable? That is noticeable so they know that this particular mountain that we're on is the mountain to find a us, natural, rendezvous with us. A natural landmark, um, point out. A la natural landmark, yeah. Okay. So. There are several clusters of the cinder stone that you can park yourself nearby that are very distinct. Uh, but before then, would you like to actually climb to those ledges? And see if it's even possible. Uh, Perry, would you like to fly up and see how difficult the climb would probably be and see if it would be good enough to house three groups of people? Sure. Uh, just hold the ring so I'm not responsible if I get ambushed and murdered. Uh, well, do you your best hang on to that. Either of those, and I will hold on to the ring. Okay. Perry? I'll stealth and fly up. Alright. So, since this is still that area, I'm going to let this stuff slide. Uh, as you approach, the nearest ledge is 60 feet up, and there seems to be enough room for a horse up there. But you do see more ledges above that. And a crevice. Would you like to get closer? I would. I would I would I would like to get closer to the to the crevasse. Okay. You get closer and immediately. Wait, did, we, you see... did we stealth up? I did. Okay. Uh, you immediately see the crevice enters in as a cave system. Mm. Or the beginning of one. So, it's possible that you could hide out in there. I can't see anything, like, from where I am. Not unless you want to go inside. I do not, all by myself. So I will fly back down and just uh, there's there's a there's a cave entrance. It looks like, and I don't know how big it is. I don't know what's in it. I didn't go in. It's about ninety feet up. 
but it, but yeah, it's it's about ninety feet up. I think we could do it. All right. Well, Ashbringer, what do you think? Does this sound adequate to our needs? If we keep an eye on the cross, yeah, we should be fine. All right. In that case, I think I will struggle making that kind of climb myself. So that being said, I think it best I take a I think it best I might enter into the ring now to make it simpler for the two of you. So in that case, um, leaving it to Cayenne and uh, Perry, I'll have Vaughn enter the ring so that way I don't have to make strength checks to make the claim. Okay. Perry or Cayenne, do you have pythons and rope? Pythons and rope. It would be in your inventory. I don't have access to my inventory, so I don't know. Paired, Hunter paired, has to look at that. Paired. Paired. Everyone has rope. What? But not everybody has pythons. That? I may not have pythons. She has what pythons. Is? I do? Uh, mantle arrows. It comes with your kit. I have, I have rope. And that's it. So, and she also has rope. Okay, so that's cool. The, you guys have each other's things. So it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Because, Perry, you don't necessarily need Clint. Nah, I'm just going to fly. Yeah. So, Cayenne, yeah. you're going to have to make strength athletics checks. Strength and athletics? No, or no strength ath athletics checks. To start climbing. Four. <laughs> four. The four. Okay. My fourth dice. My fourth d20. You <laughs> just failed me tonight. Okay. So. This is going to be very interesting. Do satyrs not have anything for climbing? Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah. Like, no, they have oh, merciful I, I, leaders. Um, just, Which is just, jumping. <laughs> wait, 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 pictures. Uh, hey, Rami, Fay, Natural Explorer, Fighting Style. Da, 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 da. I was just gonna say, like, you're a fucking yeah. adult, baby. Magic Resistance, Mirthful Leaps! Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, just, that's just for jumping, jump. not climbing. Yeah, climbing. So when I, whenever, uh, hold on, whenever you make a long or high jump, you can roll a d8 and add the number rolled. The number of feet you can cover, even when making a standing jump, is distance, cost movement. You're not normal. jumping, you're climbing. Maybe okay. you should also go in the ring. You can't. I can't. I can't. You can't track me out. No, <laughs> okay. Well, I know. You're not scouting. Yeah. I'm just... You chose to go out. <sighs> so, you start going up. After that, you you think you got a good good way in on it, and as you slip, so do the pythons in the walls. Uh, as you fall down twenty feet. Uh oh. So. Let me just remember that she gets to make an acrobatic check. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we used to do it. So, roll me an acrobatics. Much better. I highly doubt. But, uh, skills. Oh, yep. Yeah. 14! 14? Okay. Yep. So, you'll take half of this. So, you're going to take three points of damage. Three points of damage, lovely. 
Mm-hmm. All right, I got this. I got this. Slip. Shit. I got this. I got this. I got this. I don't got and this. now you're back at uh, ground zero. Oh. So, you're going to make me another athletics check. Okay. As you grab all the okay. Dirty and... 21. Okay. So you get up the first 20 feet, 30 feet, no problem. You got your grip now, you got all the pythons. How many feet of rope do you have? Hold on. Uh, Between the two of them, I think they have two sets of 50. Uh, okay, that's good. Yeah, 50 feet. Because your destination is 90. So go ahead and roll me another athletics. Oh, this is gonna be long. Oh, uh, 17. 17? You yeah. gain that momentum, you keep going for the next 30 feet. You're like, ah, oh, should be an instruct- instructor for this. <laughs> now you hit a checkpoint. Roll me one more. Athletics check. 19. 19! Alright. You get all the way to the top. Yeah! Uh, and you you see that crevasse. And then you look down and see what would probably happen. Like, I don't know, 20 feet away from your sight. As you see a splattered sheep carcass. <laughs> Um, yes! Like a regular sheep? It was just a regular sheep that fucking fell. Aww. Poor bastard. 90 90 feet. (laughs) So, yeah. You're good. Poor bastard. So, yeah. Alright. Alright. I'll send a uh, I'll send a mental me- uh, message to Cayenne. Investigate the crevasse. See if it's suitable for at least three three troops of people. And if so, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and set up camp. Roger. Well, hold on, you, did, you didn't ask me to roll. Oh. No. Uh, so, Perry and Cayenne. Would you like to investigate the spooky hole? Yes, I would love to. I don't, like, I don't like what you called it that, but yeah. I would investigate the spooky hole. See, there's okay. no spooky booze and ghosty goose. Okay. I love it. Well, I mean, survival. <laughs> survival. Or, so. Don't just roll because you want to roll. Wait, 17. So. <laughs> if we're doing okay. survival. 23. <laughs> Normally it should be investigation, but since the entranceway is a little hard to get into, make your way shimmy. Uh, there is a little bit of rocks, like little pebbles fall. Perry, you don't have much of an issue due to your size and diminutive stature. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cayenne, you seem to go in uh, fairly easily and it opens up into almost like a a tier system cavern. You hear the drips of water from stalactites drip down and it is warm. It's also very humid in here, comparatively to the desert sands nearby. Uh, at a glance, it could fit a few, quite a few people in here. Not too sure about three groups, though. But it does go in deeper. All right. So, based on their estimate, about how many people could fit in here? Fourteen. 
14, 14, would, be, 14 would be very tight. So that's two out of three. To be honest, and on that notion, for the uses of a rest, we could probably have one team sit in the ring. Or select members that need, you know, more TLC and comforted uh, resting, at the very least, depending on what who needs what from which team. The ring only has a limited time. Huh? The ring has only a limited time, right, Akir? Yeah, every person can only stay in it for six hours. Did I go through? Hello? Yeah. Go yeah, back. I went through. Okay. All right. Um, if you guys feel comfortable, I would say go ahead and investigate a little further. We just want to secure enough space for the three teams. Yeah, yeah say a little further. Too much further. Like, uh, if we start going further back, does the temperature increase? I'd say inside, comparatively outside, it's a 10 degree difference. So let's say outside is like 65. It's about 78 in here. Well, you get a little toasty. Mm. Not unbearable by any means, but it is yeah. quite warm. Perry is so happy right now. Not unbearable, but a little warm. In a volcano? Yeah, I was just going to say, is there a. Or lava. Yeah. That was no, my it question. seems dark in here. It's dark? Okay. Alright. That makes me feel a little better for now. Well yeah, it's you guys don't have any lights out. Yeah, but dark, dark vision, right? But dark means there's no lava or magma. That's yeah, that's more what I was asking for. Mm-hmm. So, so. Yeah, Do you want to go deeper in the spooky hall? Sure. Okay. Similar to the opening, it is a little bit of a way and a little bit of a twist and turn to get in there. Go ahead and roll me acrobatics checks to get in there. Plus four. Nine. This is no shit. I didn't know how jacked my acrobatics was. Okay, twenty-five. Okay, nine. I like rogues. Yeah, yeah, I told you. You move, and you turn your head, and all you hear is. <laughs> You're stuck, <laughs> and now blocking the exit. Hell. As your horns and your forehead get stuck in between a crevice in the stone. And it, it fucking hurts as if you're scraping up your skin. I would probably like immediately turn around and be like, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. And I'll try to like help her get unstuck. Okay. Roll me a sleight of hand, Perry, to, to help her fucking get out of there. As you feel like the the eyebrow uh, piercing start to like tug a little bit on stone. Uh, Twenty nine. Twenty nine. You're oh, able Jesus. to delicately, like with little baby hands, just like rearrange. Little baby like, hands. Yeah, you know those like little like doll <laughs> hands. Right you hands. Yeah. <laughs> That you could put on the oh fingers, my... basically like that. Oh my god. I fucking love that. Uh, you're able to readjust the the head of Kaya to the point where she's out. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> 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 You're right there. <laughs> no, he's not alright. That Deadpool cut from, clip from Deadpool with his baby. Oh, what is fucking? Oh, yep, yep. 
that's that's really it. That's that's it right there. I love it. Okay. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. So, Perry, you're you're good to go through. Uh, Tyant, I need you to make another acrobatics to to squeeze in there. <laughs> Can I like help her and tell her where to step and stuff? I don't know if it'll do anything. It, it'll, it won't really All help. Right. 19. Okay. You're able to not get stuck this time and, like, wedge yourself downwards. And it does get a little warmer. And that's when you notice this fact that you're not in just, like, the normal mountain. There is cinder stone all around this area. Oh, we shouldn't be here. I don't think this is safe. As you see a vast cavern with little guys moving about. Just, just little doing guys. Little, thing. little guys. You know, what kind no, of guys? No, no bigger than Perry. Like maybe a little bigger by like three or four inches. Uh, what kind of guys? They seem to be very broad and stony. We should with we almost should back out cracks of cinder stone running through them, and with. The commotion of getting stuck. You, you have like a, a dozen looking in your direction. Do they see them? I mean, listen, they're looking in our direction. I would assume so. Yeah, they're they're looking. And, like, some of these other little guys are just keep moseying by and, like, moving things and carving holes. Mm -hmm. And then there's one little guy that just picks up speed in the opposite direction and then turns into a ball and rolls down a hallway. Do they seem hostile? Not currently. Hey. I'm just gonna look up at Cayenne and just we we should leave them alone. I don't think this is a safe space for us to be. We should we should and Barry's just like slowly starting to back in back the oh, way the game. Primordial. <laughs> nope. I do. I do. But I have to be within five feet of them to hear it. Yeah, to hear clearly. Um, do do either of you describe it? The things in to the ring. Yeah, Perry. Perry would yeah. be like you know. Perry would go, be giving everybody. Go ahead and roll me a like a persuasion check. To to articulate the like what you're seeing. Natural twenty. Okay. For twenty two. Those that know Primordial can mm -hmm. roll me Arcana or Nature. Okay. No, I do not. In that oh. range. Alright, well I'll roll a 19 on the die. Let me see what my... Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeah, I don't know Primordial, so I cannot roll. Uh, that would be a 23. Yeehaw! That's a really good roll. Okay. How much are we gonna die? 23 for you? Yep. Like here, what do you roll? 23 to do. 21. 21. Uh, the two more well-traveled individuals of this realm, um, 
whether it be for monster hunting or just general, you know, uh, traveling. Those are some weird fucking gallop durs. Galladur. Gallop durs. They're mm. little little earth elemental guys. I will relay that information to the party. They are little earth elementals. Okay. Uh, you guys got above 20, so you get a little bit more information. Un segundo, for favor. Yeah, Gallop Durs. Or paper printed. Uh, <laughs> uh, interesting thing about Gallop Durs, they are, are boulder-like creatures uh, that are able to animate rocks and boulders around them. Uh, usually, like, they're around various like places with a lot of elemental energy and things like that they're able to be communicated and reasoned with for sure uh some people trade with them uh and some mining uh people that do mining have to deal with these guys quite a bit um when it has to deal with very valuable stuff. Uh, because the, the, you'll just have like little colonies of them pop up. Um, they... The, the 12 that they, they definitely like see them looking at them and like the others like that are in this cavern, this very large cavern, um, it's most likely not all of them that are in that cavern. They're just blend in very much. So they can be reasoned with then? Uh, Akir, uh, Vaughn looks to Akir. Do you think it'd be worth our time to attempt to maybe garner favor with them? Let them let us uh, harbor inside their mountain for the evening. Maybe help us find an entrance that's bigger. Seeing as there are some larger members in the other teams. As long as they're willing to talk. We can... Right now, right now they seem more interested in fleeing. I mean, we have the option of attempting it. But, uh... Fortunately, if it fails, we're stuck where we are. We can mayhaps find, take advantage of the coast then. Yes, it's more, puts us a little bit more vulnerable in the evening, but it will be easier to find us unless we can garner their help. I would rather deal with these tiny elementals than another team. All right. So mayhaps it is in our best interest then. Uh, seeing as you've shown that you can uh, speak their language do you think perhaps it's best for you to do so then or would you like one of us to act as your liaison no well, no one else can speak to them um I can if they're elementals Alistair like looks over Like, if you want. The only reason why I say that is, once again, you're out of the ring and we all know the rules of that. So whoever leaves is committing to it. Yeah. I'm in better shape than most, but 
I'm not the most eloquent. Yes. Good uh, while, I'll do it. All right. And here we'll leave the ring. Coming out in a uh, in a fog and forming in his normal form. Because by now the half dragon stuff would have ran out. Mm-hmm. So you look out and they definitely see you. And they start conversing as they see your visage. I like to like put up a hand peacefully. They say something primordial akin to we don't mean you any bother. We merely look for a place to rest tonight. Okay. We won't take any of your resources and we won't try to trouble you at all. Just a corner where we can be alone. Right. You do so and... Couple Galadur gather forward, and they start communicating, but a very interesting way. They start slapping parts of their body, making stone and and almost crunching sounds. Indicating and asking are you with the ones below no we come from a horn bar. dweller we come from above and we are not native to this land we will we are merely here for a few days and we are seeking refuge while we head on our way ah uh. Taskmaster might have a word, but I do not see any reason why. Well, why not? As he's basically slapping his knees and like, like, pounding his chest. Um, would Gallen be able, Gallen and Hollister be able to hear and translate? Gallon would translate if he can hear. Uh, they're a bit a ways. They're up and like they're approaching for sure. They're like within 20 feet looking up. But they and can looking. translate what Akir is saying? Uh, definitely. All right. Uh, Vaughn will make a note. Perhaps it's best to also mention there will be more in case that would hinder acceptance of us staying rather than at least so they've shown that they're willing to talk which is good but if the pro a prospect of too many people would be a a negative perhaps it's good to find that out now peacefully instead of springing two no entire other groups on them without them knowing does that make sense i'm also interested in seeing if they want to or I want to have good good rapport with them. I want to see if see see if they need us to do anything, like trade anything for them for letting us use the space. So I will ask them if they are willing to allow to allow maybe another group another group that is with us to stay in a corner before we leave in the morning. Um, they start to deliberate and talk. And if not, then they can hey. hang out. At, then it, I don't see any reason why they can't hang out by the entrance, you know, outside the cave. They, uh, they turn to you. Must confer with Taskmaster. Do you, do you need us to talk to him, or will you relay the message? Young Boulder, already go to. Approach Taskmaster of Arrivals. Is he t is he telling the other one to go or? I don't know. 
They will be here soon. Uh, here we'll give a polite bow. Says, "Thank you very much." Now, if I may ask, what entirely are you? I haven't seen a creature like you in some time. We are of uh, the Galabdur. We are forgers, stone shapers. We are children of the land of Earth. Tears of minerals. Can I ask about those below that you talked about? Ah, yes. The Horned Taskmasters. They and, ask of us. Say that Akira will like reach her up and touch his horn. Oh. Yes. Much like that. Some different. Some strange. But none the same. We shape the roads. Keep the crevice. Endure the mountain and the molten. So the taskmasters have you build for them, and what do you get from the deal? We exist. Do you exist to serve? Or do they we allow exist. you to exist? Things here. Many... Many year started to be made, allowed to shape, allowed to grow. Then the taskmasters found us, told us purpose, give purpose. Does, yeah, does not go again. And here we'll say through the link, at least it sounds like they are willing servants and not enslaved. That's always good. Some people are built to serve, like me. And then he'll say out loud, out loud to them again, Who is your current taskmaster? One of the taskmasters. Their name is Vardun. What can you tell us of Vardun? Vardun is much like you. Horns, wings, tail, reptilian, scales somewhat, claws, but smooth tail, forked. So the player thought says that this creature came from below, has is reptilian and stretcher, has wings and a tail and horns. You guys think it might be an Abershai? Huh. I guess we'll find out. I guess oh. we'll find I mean th this is player talking. <laughs> I You guys will find out. Yeah. I, 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 I I you guys can deliberate it. if you'd like. <laughs> I hope it's not an Abishai. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a weak Abishai. So we can handle a white one or a black one, but if it's if it's uh, green or above, we might have trouble. I don't want to fight anything. Me neither. Right now, we, we luckily, just want to take a nap. But luckily, if it's a devil, we can work out a deal at least. I don't want a deal at all either. <laughs> oh, I already have a deal with the devil. It's one more. <laughs> Only mm -hmm. one devil. So you far, think other, you think my I current devil you. is gonna be offended? Yes. Oh no, Maybe. I'm saying I'm saying your dragon major. Ah, uh, well, you know he's not a devil. He's a bit of a dick. 
No, it's, 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 it's super all, nice uh, to everyone. Zork it's was super all, uh, nice and allowed us all to stay there for free and fed us and Zork was nothing but nice to us. A tyrant. Not a tyrant. Well, you literally jumped in his mouth. I did not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be I did blamed. not, actually. Cannot be blamed if he is about to bite something and you jump in front of him when he's about to bite. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, don't like him. <laughs> think he's a dick. Vardun I jumped is in one lava of three. And it me. One of three. Yes. Vardun, fair taskmaster. Other two. Less patient. More wanting. Vardun is voice. Carmack and Gasir are whip in prison. Already found prisoners. Oh. I guess we'll wait and see what okay. these taskmasters have to say. You don't have to wait long as a circle... A, a portal tears through with fire. Oof. <laughs> as stepping through is a winged humanoid with a little bit of scaling across the face claws, a forked tail that is smooth with reddish skin. It's a cambion. Maybe. Uh, and horns, yes. It is a cambion. Oh, cool. Well, it's a oh, devil. It is a devil. Hey, we found a pigeon. Hey, hey. Hey, the pigeons. We gotta love some pigeons. Yeah. And this one looks up. Ah. Interesting. You must be the current test. Well, then. Ah, they've told you about me. Well, this makes it easy. My name is Vardun. Greetings, Vardun. I'm Akira Asorik. Asorik. Interesting type. So, what is the reason for your, I, I'd hate to say, uh, barging in, more so visitation? As is this were. in common? Well, it has to be, because I don't speak Infernal. Uh, he's he's definitely speaking in common. Okay, because Perry will just pipe up and be like, we're sorry, it was an accident. We didn't yeah, know you were here. But we didn't know about it. Sorry. <sighs> My group well, is searching for a place to rest. This canyon looks like a good place until we found your stronghold. Yes. So now we are merely asking for permission to rest outside of the stronghold, if we, if possible. There's a lot of noise that's been going around around these places and parts today. Is there a reason for it? Are, are you the ones making all the noise? We're not the purpose of the noise, just some sort of participants. Um, participants how long, of noise. How long have you been on this island? Uh, mortal years. Four? So that means that you, you would not have been here the last time the island was occupied. Uh, what, what's it called? Like in the bicentennial? Uh, it's the uh, yeah, bicentennial. So it's twice a year. 
Well, bicentennial means like half of a hundred. The fiftieth. And so half a, half a century. Right. right. I mean, so that last yeah. game would have been how long ago? Yeah, five years. A, yeah, five years. So he wasn't here for the previous games. This island, unfortunately, is occupied by a nearby... Well, not occupied. It's claimed by a nearby civilization. And every five years or so, heroes from the land come here to duke it out, so to speak. Ah. That is some news to me. Explains all the visitors that we've been taking care of. So you are into some contestants already. <laughs> yes, yes, some interesting folks. Uh, they s- sat there and decided to crumble over two dozen of our residents here. <sighs> which I am quite annoyed by. This mean. information is a lot more uh, coherent than the ones that I found. So one, of the, this is... one of the reasons for that is that we were promised power in exchange for every creature on this island that we slay. As such, as such, we ourselves have slain a number of what sand devils, so to speak, or some. And I'll try to ex- I'll try to explain to him the best I can that. The creatures we ran into in the desert, the maw. Ah, uh, yes, the eaters of dust. Right, that was the thing. civilization decayers. The we have, ghost we have, of the sand. We have slain a number of those uh, massive sand, massive sentient sandstorm, and and uh, ourselves a group, another group of adventurers seeking glory. See. What explains all the new toys that we've been getting? And like holds a staff in his hand. Huh. So this land so, you tend to make it your domain may have difficulties as every five years more and more people will be sent, more and more will try to slay you. Um I I will perhaps. mention can, can uh, above board? Can I mention something? Um, I, I don't think it's every five years. This just so happens to be the event this year. I don't think this island is used every tournament. Uh, even if not, a, even if not, I'm still gonna say that because as far as the Kieran knows, okay. that's, that's true. He has no reason to yeah. believe that we're not sitting here every every five years. If it is not utilized of some sort, yeah. So, well, information has been quite helpful. So, you said that you just need a place to rest. We have been, we have been fighting for some time, and we have this competition will go on for another, I believe, it's two days. You see a Mm -hmm. grin on its face. Which means you have potential to claim more prizes should they assault you first. This is quite interesting. And Akir starts getting like a devious thought. Oh, we ran into a group of people, the Emperor's nephew perhaps, not too far from here. Maybe a deal could be Ooh. struck. <laughs> but they'll be strong, so. I mean, they'll be strong, but this champion. Oh, well, there's three cambians. Never said they were all cambians. Well, there's three devils, and they uh, are working in tandem with these things. Yeah, there's three fiends. So and, fiends. And Akira will Akira will sort of raise his knuckle to his chin as he taps it and thinks, "I know how devils like to work. You like to make deals, yes." And I doubt you would let us reside here out of kindness of your heart. You see an unnatural smile 
come through, almost like it curls in on itself. What do you have in mind? Mr. Uh, Alsorak. Do I... Do I... Do I personally hear Akira about to make a deal with this? Yes. Uh, another devil? <laughs> with a second devil? Since you've known him? Yeah. Yes. I yes. immediately... Inside of Akira's head, do not fucking do it. Don't care who those people are down there. Don't you fucking do it. So he... he you actually see Akira pause. I don't know if he if he is, has any way to detect a psionic link. Oh, no, I just cast full message at you. <laughs> <laughs> Akira will stop and think. And he'll see him pause as Akira, as Akira, like, he continues to tap his hand as he replies to Holson. Or taps his chin as he, think, as he replies to Holson. Oh, I'm not going to set anyone out, my you. But someone needs to make a deal. No, no. Halster no. from the inside is like, so are you just all cool with that? Because I'm, I'm not going to no, be a part of that. No, no, <laughs> no deal, no deal. Uh, I'm not quite fond with that, but uh, I'm trusting his. Uh, no, his, uh, no, no deal. No are you going to come out of the ring and stop me? Because <laughs> I will quite I'll, literally. I will send. Uh, the I will send. I will send a mental link. Uh, care to advise us on exactly what you have planned before you make a decision, Ashbringer? Simply give him a hot spot to hunt out. Level our competition no. some. No, I know people in that other group, and I would like to not kill them. Oh, personally. Oh, well, they won't die. You don't know that, do you? Um, we already been told that they have a number of people kept prisoner. So, yes. I don't really want him to be a prisoner either. Personally. Do you want to be imprisoned? Would you like to be imprisoned? Would you like uh, how that feels? To be imprisoned by a devil? I don't know. According to you, I've been in prison my whole life, so... What could be the difference? You know, being imprisoned by a devil is a bit different than being imprisoned by a fucking pirate. At least one of them is lawful. Um, what I mean is, is there mayhaps a way to, uh, well. As you're, like, having this full-blown, like, mental conversation. Yeah, no, uh, so, <laughs> the thing is, we don't have so are, you, are you currently deliberating with others? Hmm. I'm trying to debate about what I could gain. As well as what I could give. Well, there's many things you can gain. The price will change depending. Your but... servant says that you have that there are three of you. Yes. Yes, there are my brothers. Uh, one of them shall be with us shortly. I just wanted to be the welcoming party. Um. Can I hear the devil talking, generally? Uh, he's not within five feet. May but I also, approach, good sir? <laughs> also, Perry's currently holding the ring. I haven't taken it back yet. So Perry's, Perry's just gonna like look up at Akira and just we just need. I like she doesn't really know anything, yeah. obviously, from the ring, but she's just we just need a place to stay. Yeah, we're just we just we just need a place to stay for a night. We don't need to kill anybody. I, Perry doesn't know it. Perry, Perry don't know what's happening. She's not a part of the link. She don't. She don't know any of that. Yeah, it's the it's the side chain that's happening in the group chat. Yeah, yeah she's not a part of the group well, chat. I kicked. I, it's a it's the whole set of Kier separate also, chit chat. And also, you guys don't know what Akira's is willing to do to win. I yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, Perry just doesn't person, like the smile that just happened. As Perry a person does. who has been with Akira long enough. Yeah, no, Gloria a lot to you, and I'm not. She just don't like the not, smile that just happened. No, no little <laughs> bard. She's like, you might kill. I don't want you to kill this man personally. You could kill anybody else on this goddamn island, but not that man. I mean, so, I, was, 
Okay, so my plan wasn't to give up the man. My plan was to be like, we know of a hot spot nearby down by the beach where a bunch of people would be trying to find places to stay. I wasn't going to be like, hey, give up the group. I was going to be potential to get people. We saw a bunch of groups nearby that might be uh, worth your attention. Is what you were going for. Information. Trading information. Yeah, trade. Basically, yes. I will say my basic idea was trade information for a, a safe place to stay. Not anywhere fancy, mind you. Just a place where I can put up my magical barrier and rest until day. But rest until tomorrow. Yeah. So. He asked, may I approach closer or shall I create seating so we can actually have a Civilized conversation. Oh, by all means, feel free to, to approach the seat. With a wave of his hand, a banquet table uh, goes, as well as several seats of plush velvet and wood, uh, like dark rosewood. I like uh, imagine Kyanna Perry just standing there, sort of like. Sort of semi dumbfounded, like, what the fuck is Akira doing? Yeah, Perry is like, what? very nervous. She yeah, don't like the way that, that man smiles. Holson, a little. Hollister can see Holson crossing the bridge of her nose, just curled up in a ball, <laughs> hoping and praying to God. It's her. Akira's it internal it monologue. <laughs> Akira's it, it internal monologue is, well, fucking Holson ignores everything we say. Screw it. I'm going to have fun. Akira be sus right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm, gonna, here. I'm gonna play her game. Hey, I, okay. the, what 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 uh, Vaughn is thinking is more about is his show. I'm gonna trust his judgment. I don't 100 percent agree with it, but it's not my it. call. Oh, yeah, the do with the devil is not his show. In Kakar, well, and like we'll just say that uh, Akuma, <laughs> like fucking. Mm -hmm. Do not have the like best intentions. <laughs> oh no, no, um, no, no! Deal with the devil is going to come out with with a uh, a party happy. I yeah. also know that Akir doesn't think twice about thoughts, and so I am going to incite this devil as long as I can hear him. If he gets closer, if he gets five feet closer, I'm going to incite this devil as long as I can hear him. Is, oh, yeah. Is, oh, yeah. Oh, my negative insight. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody has to be a cure's conscience. Yeah. And today it's, it's going to be me, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. It is a long banquet table with three seats on each side, and then I two heads. I swear to don't sit right next to that man. Yeah, Akira yeah, will, uh, will take a seat, stretch his wings out so he can sit comfortably, and be like, oh, I wanted to mention that your that your um your leather looks fine looks finely kept today. Thank you. Your horns are quite polished too. <laughs> it looks are important. Looks are important, especially when you're trying to make first impression. I want Perry to lean over to Cayenne and just go. Are they flirting? I can't tell. You're very uh, interesting. Uh, Wild uh, I'm just gonna lean into, I'm gonna lean back to Perry, and I thought the Feywild customs of flood were a little audacious. I don't know if we should be watching this. Or we need to be uh -huh. looking away. It, it's about the same par, really. Yeah, it's just I mean, flirting, like, flirting in the Feywild is also that of like Mad Hatter levels of like yeah. flirting is it could be upside down and backwards. That's yeah, where Terry's like, I don't I mean, know when if you they're think, just being nice to each other or flirting. When, when you think about it, though, like the, the Feywild deals and the Fiend deals are very similar. Very similar. <laughs> like, like, Perry like, wow. won't. Perry won't sit down. She'll just kind of like hover above the chair. Yeah. Okay. And remember that. Remember, uh, Halston, I the Halston, remember the Halston is begging you to get closer to the devil. Perry wants to feel. Oh, that's right. I have the ring. So yeah, I, you I have my ring. Closer. closer. Basically, Holson's like, if you don't sit next to him, sit next to him. Sit next to him. <laughs> Do next I to hear him. this? I need to hear I don't, him. I don't, <laughs> I don't know any of this. 
Yeah, she's messaging. Oh, she's, she's, she's just sending a message. message. She's just casting message oh, over okay. right. and it's over messages. until somebody yeah. gets closer. Okay, yeah. Well, I was just gonna say, I have the ring, so, like, if I get a message from Holton, I will, like, hover on the chair, just, like, that's next to him. You're just here, though, I very much British voice. Really urgent. <laughs> okay. So, get, yeah, you get, get closer. closer. Get closer, get closer, get closer, get closer. Get closer, get closer, get closer. <laughs> what, what does Jake do you think of uh, the <laughs> situation? <laughs> I just love how active everyone became in a moment of care. It's like, let's make a deal. And everyone's like, no, everyone's no, like, no, 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 no. They're like, you know, no, no for one time. Make a deal. For uh, one, someone stop the tears in. Yeah, in. You remember that, that, tears in. You remember that scene from, uh, from Dragon Ball Abridged when, <laughs> when Frieza's like, can I have a cup of energy? And King Kai's like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's a whole scene right uh, now. Just, just, just for, for, in for brain, a point of reference Vaughn was more a matter of hold on hold on let's let, let him cook let him cook i What's don't want to let him cook actually we want to turn off the burner as fast as possible <laughs> i would like to not burn it immediately he's hey, put uh, too much um, salt in already hey um the water's gonna boil him gonna spend the water's oiling hey uh, here's the uh, intelligence eight yeah, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> my brain, my my thought process, like, Holson's thought process, we already have this weird being that Holson accidentally made a deal with following us. That's much stronger than it. I don't need devils in this situation. Yeah, like that one. I don't oh, need more um, devils than we already have. How how's Galen dealing with this uh, information over there? <sighs> What's your input? Yeah, he can't know. really, he can't really do anything about it. But he's like, uh, I mean, um, he's I mean, speaking like, her messages out loud. The last deal that Akira made on the devil, you found out about your daughter. It could only go up from here. Jesus, mm -hmm. no, a last very accidental deal anyone made. Holson's shooting weird shit now. Yeah, gallant, gallant, gallant. Gallon is an uh Gallon's too happy about it, but so so um which side is this Cambion on? Uh the Cambion is whatever side he wants to be on. Um It's his table. And also what this is like the first day Are we are we going in that hard for, for things? Or, oh Jesus or... No, no, no. We've got some I... days. We've got two teams. I, I officially quit this team if <laughs> if I have to contribute to that. <laughs> yeah, what's, I, 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 will, I will say I don't think any of us are going to contribute to anything. This is entirely his show. Yeah. But I don't think none of us are obligated to commit I, anything to this in such a manner. No, here's, here's the only one. Doubles for fun. Akira would be the only one making a deal. And because Akira's the only one making a deal, Akira's the only one who has to worry about the consequences. Akira's not the only one benefiting from the deal. No, but he is the one Thank making you. it. And that's and that's oh. the Uh, he looks over. You're quite an interesting specimen, if I do say so myself. I've been on my fair share of journeys. Perhaps I should regale you with a tale sometime. I would love that. Uh, Biscuit? <laughs> like wafts his hand and like sends a honey biscuit towards your way. Oh God, I hear loves honey. Uh oh. Oh, you're being <laughs> seduced. You so I, like I feel like I'm watching the carriage accident waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah, and it's like that, like, like expensive ambrosia honey. You guys, no, you guys no. decide to ring immediately. See Akira's eyes widen and he's like, "Ooh, he I'm reaches just... for it." Staring. I'm just like dead yeah, staring. Just, like, at I'm like you know how like in the office they just look dead at the camera and like just dead <laughs> yeah. pan. Perry is just staring at Akir. Like, don't you fucking put your hand down. You on that? I'm just imagining Jim just looking at exactly, the camera. exactly. Yes, <laughs> just Akir. Akir I really no. want the devil to eat it first. And like he yeah. takes a drink of water you mean, as you well. Mean a, you mean a devil that's immune to poison? Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. Fine, having him break yeah. first. So, uh, so uh, I have to drink water and and 
raises his other hand and water starts to fill from the bottom of the other glasses where people are. And Akira will look over to Cayenne and be like, are you going to sit with us? <laughs> no, thank I'm... I ain't sitting with no dip. Oh, no, thank you. What's wrong? Oh, there are many, there are many tales about when it comes to dining with devils. That uh, yeah, Mama Andrew... told me not to sit with strangers. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know my name, so strangers. we're not very much strangers. The only what one that's stranger here, what uh, Vardun. 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 Um, Vardun. Do I know anything about that Vardun. Do I know anything about a devil named Vardun? Is he no, big no. enough for people to know about? Probably not. You don't know anything about <laughs> no. devils right now, especially specific name devils. True. You're not an onomancer. I'm gonna no, do. I'm, I'm gonna put. I don't know how to spell Vardun, so I'm gonna just improvise it. A A R. I was Vardun. Wrong. Okay. Uh, v apostrophe D U N. Okay, I, okay. What I did, what I did, I did no apostrophe and two and two uh, U's instead of two A's. I did the I same. I wrote D A R D O O N E. So I spelled Barden. Devil we. <laughs> Devil we um, met on the Barden. On um, the trial island. Perry will just like turn around and look at Cayenne and just 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 fucking sit down. <laughs> fucking come sit down. <laughs> If I, I, swear, I just look at Perigo, if I lose my soul for this shit, oh, I'm coming after worried. you. I'll haunt you. <laughs> I wouldn't have worried. The devil cannot actually harm us unless we attempt to harm him first. Or we or we go back on a deal. That laws is a laws. laws of engagement. Laws are laws. Yes. No funny <laughs> business. I'd say the same to you. I have funny business. I'm not saying that. I don't like that he knew where we were from. You're a cedar. 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 You're a Two of the most fake creatures that want to get around. Even I'm not going to disagree with him. Touche. Touche. Okay. So, yeah. So he looks at you. I would love to hear their stories, but more so having pleasantries and things of that nature. Uh, I know your name, uh, Akir, Sir Akir. Uh, yours, uh, young miss. Uh, points to Perry. Don't say it! <laughs> I mean, listen, he, she's just gonna kind of shrug and just uh, Perry. Mm, Perry. You miss Perry? And you? Uh. Her name, is, her, her name is Cumin. <laughs> like, looks, it like tilts the head like a half a degree. <laughs> She's like your Perry, the, just big side. Like the spice? Yep, with a K. Okay, cumin. Mm -hmm. I bother not questioning it. My name is also very weird to a lot of people. It is very yeah. interesting. So, yeah. would you like to state what you would have to offer, or what would you like me to state what I could offer? We simply want one thing, and that is permission to rest in this cave until morning. And what I can offer in exchange is information about what I know about the trials going on in this island. You've given me quite a bit already. More information is not unwelcome, and very much information is power. So, this could be amenable. I've come to some certain suspicions, but having confirmations make it more worthwhile. So does this sound like an agreeable deal? I tell you what I, I tell you everything I know about this island and those who run it, 
In exchange, you let us rest. Free from harassment from you and your siblings. This seems amenable. Is this the only deal you wanting to make at this moment? Uh, at this moment, yes. And to clarify the terms, because I am not sure if the little elemental told you, is that we are expecting two others to perhaps show up. Two other groups. So the oh. three of the three of us would be able to rest in this outing, rest in front of your cave without harassment. And in cha- in exchange, I tell you everything I know about this island and those who own it. The taxing part of this all is the numbers are inconsistent with what has been being portrayed as distraction as well as the notification of a magical object which is being pointed in my direction. It's just on her hand. It is just on her hand. As long as I can hear, that's fine. I don't need to see. A a (laughs) magical object with interesting properties. Yes, uh, my dimmy plane, which which we use to travel safely. I hold it in the hands of our useful scout. So, the... level of information and detail will determine on how many heads will be allowed to rest here. Shall we say Unfettered that the, that the, and unvetted. Shall we say that the information I already gave you would be at least be enough for my group? The information that you've given me is be enough for you three, I'd say, in this Conjunction. Very well. Then I will keep the information. Lovingly quid pro quo, as we had not started negotiating. Okay. Then I will give you. I will give you some information, and you tell me when. And you tell me if I have earned another head or not. I do love games. And you start hearing from the tunnel below the heavy stomps of a creature as the Galabdur that left now rolls into and starts pointing like the fucking scene with like uh, the body snatchers (laughs) invasion of the body snatchers towards the table. As you see a massive, nine-foot-tall creature with two large pincing claws on one set of arms and a smaller set mid-torso with bits of fur and spikes, uh, almost demonic like chicken feet at the bottom and as it bends down a almost befanged horse like face with horns black horns going back as it snorts with a studded like bull ring in its nose As it looks and sees the display and looks over to Vardun. Are these the guests that have come upon? Oh no. Our dwelling. Here you go. Uh, not you many. This man was nine feet tall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Perry's just gonna say a little silent prayer to herself. The entire is just left just looks straight up, and it's just like, yep, we're all gonna die. And it's just like, 
I I don't know if any of you have actually seen or interacted with this. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I've seen that. I've seen that being around, but I I've don't seen know that anything about once. it. And I mean, specifically, obviously, obviously I've yeah. seen every monster because I just browse the monsters tab a lot. I actually don't know anything about that. But it looks cool. I don't know what that is, but I'm afraid of it. If I remember correctly, that was a pre Vox Machina. Uh, what was it? A pre Vox Machina stream boss that they had before they started streaming their game so many years ago. I'm going to call it Jim. It's the thing that killed Pike the first time. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like this either, and I don't want to fight it. I don't like that it killed Jenny. I love her. Nope, and, I don't like uh, it. And Akira will, Akira will look up, his hands crossed on his knee, uh, crossed on his knees as he uh, lays his back in a chair. Oh, so this is one of your siblings, as you called him? Yes, this is my brother. Say hello. Greetings and salutations. Howdy. Why did that sound so forced? <laughs> yeah, really? I mean, did not tell happy. you. And no, that man sure does. For. Pleasure, sir. What is your job in these tunnels? I am one of the taskmasters. One of the formants of these creatures. So, it is a pleasure to have you in our dwelling as a Lord. guest. What is it for now? I am a key artist. Yes, your, your lovely abode. Um, nice, very nice. <laughs> we make do. So, yes, very crafty. I'll give you points so for that. So, how many of the uh, new intruders have you managed to take care of? There was several flocks of interesting adventurers. Not all of them were willing to give in to questioning. Yes, your, yes, your brother here says that, says that a couple of them also took to trying to slay your servants. They did and succeeded believing it a game of life and death, which they were the judges. Personally, I it is what we were told. showed them otherwise. As the, he approaches and may I take a seat and be beholden to these accords? So I'm not great at insight, but this guy... This guy sounds like he's trying too hard to be formal. Yeah, he's I, trying to. I, I would like to see if he's acting. Yeah. I like to see if he's acting against his nature or not. Uh, oh, well, I I he, he probably is. <laughs> the way that his voice sounds, I guarantee you, he probably yeah. is. He's probably uh, like resisting all natural urge to kill us. <laughs> yeah. So seventeen. Is he holding? Is he? Is, is his this demeanor man? natural? Is actually this level of smart and charismatic? Ah, on paper. Oh. Okay, he's just he okay. is just deep voiced and like it's obvious that he's breathed in fucking like volcano fumes <laughs> and fucking <laughs> thrived. Okay, I, I was just curious about if he was he if he was, was forcing. <laughs> He's yeah, not yeah. angry, he's just a little dumb. For sure? It, it sounds seems like, like he's function. unhappy. It sounds like he is unhappy having to speak with people. Yeah. Generally. Yeah, so I was just saying if he was forcing himself into the situation or if it or if he's actually comfortable right now. He is There's definitely a level of irritation, but seeing that there is table and accords being met, he is more uh Amenable 
Yeah, to I'm conversation. Because I'm not going to lie, looking at that picture, he strikes me as a demon instead of a devil. With his, uh, with you would be correct. Uh, yeah, he, he. It is giving fiend. Yeah. You oh, are yeah. certainly correct. That's it why is I said giving fiend rather than devil because Campion can be either or. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, uh, I heard it, it, it just with the mix match body parts and everything, he looks like he was sort of stitched together, which is more of a demon thing to have happen. Looks yeah. like he got thrown out of the abyss at some point. Yeah. Fun yeah, thing about this man, um, he has a very nice vest on that is covered in blood. <laughs> it's not his vest. Oh, that's a very nice vest. It's this guy, a little something on it. This guy, this guy, slaps, this guy slaps your ass in the club. What do you do? <laughs> uh, uh, hi. 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 Let me Just tell you like... that it's that nice leather type of vest. Um... That is, oh, is it, obviously it, being torn up by rubbing against his fucking skin. Is, is, he, <laughs> is he environmentally conscious and is actually pleather? No. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> if you keep leather for long enough, it's environmentally mm. conscious. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he takes a seat and his, and his shirt is covered in blood but also falling apart. Yeah, it looks like it's worn. Down Out of curiosity, right where does he sit? Yeah, right across from Perry. Ah, she is so uncomfortable right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I am terrified. <laughs> is, is she uncomfortable or is she fascinated by the fangs on that thing? And like, oh, wait, is there fangs but, on it? She didn't even see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're they're crazy because huge she, fangs. she is taking into account that she is the smallest thing in the room other than the fucking gallifters, and she does not like it. And her <laughs> protector is she jump is very like she's she's you know admiring like she's not afraid in the sense that like oh he's gonna just like reach across the table and like kill me. Mm -hmm. She's he could. Just, yeah, he could, and she knows that she's very just. She can look at the teeth, but she's afraid to look too long because she's like, I don't want to bring attention to myself at all. Yeah. I'm roll something real quick. I mean, okay. being a rogue, being a rogue, he can absolutely like roll stealth or something to try to blend more in with the no. scenery. Be like, no, it's fine. She's not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, she has the ring. She needs to be close to so the rest. What of is the he party gonna do? Hear what's happening? No, so, I don't mean like literally stealth. I oh, mean no. try to make yourself make less sure. look less important. So he sits down and lets the crab pincers basically fall to the floor. Uh. And the little arms start making moves for the glasses, and then he he looks over to his brother, uh, and there is a like little bendy straw <laughs> that like pops up out of the glass now, oh and he like sips on it, and then looks at you as he's sipping, and then gives yeah. you a smile. Look at that! He's giving it to Perry. Yep. I was like, what the fuck that even, like, is, that, is he trying to actually be nice? Or is he flirting with you? Okay. I doubt he's flirting. I, I doubt he's flirting. Oh, barking up the wrong tree. Oh, uh, what the fuck is that? He I mean, wants to eat you. <laughs> I yeah. Mean, hey, I mean, if someone's so, going to flirt with Perry, he needs to have at least three sets of teeth. That's an 18. <laughs> he also needs to not be a male, but okay. <laughs> Nice set of teeth and a pair of tits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that was, oh, what the fuck did I just say? Eight, uh, 18. 18. 18. He's trying to be... Um, not amenable, but pleasant. Okay. He's so she'll give a, she'll give a smile. Like she'll he's give a, a smile normal back. guy. Just yeah, a guy. Just a dude. At a table. Yeah, she'll, she'll give a, a smile back. Look at him. He's not scary. He's a bendy straw. He's yep. Yeah, he's he, he has glasses. Yeah, Perry is. Perry's inner monologue is just smile at the big scary man so he doesn't reach across the table and fucking he, you like, know drop you. Like my thought process is that Cambian has been trying for years <laughs> to get this man to be like just be normal. Just be normal. <laughs> People might come up to us. If you're just normal. <laughs> yep, exactly. People would actually want to make deals with us if you don't try to murder them. 
and well, unfortunately unfortunately also we uh we might be the first people that approach that are not kill on sight yeah like, yeah because we totally civilized i wouldn't say that but <laughs> <laughs> i mean it with all the sarcasm but <laughs> it's not that stupid I mean, how so yeah, much would it be? Gallant, Gallant had to like fist start someone's heart. It's true, he did. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. Did he say which brother he was? Did he say his name yet? I said I'm gonna call him Jimothy. So unless he gives me another name, you know, I'm just gonna think. <laughs> no, I, know, I was just saying. Like, I Do was not curious. call that man Jimothy. <laughs> Do, don't call him that to his face. Do not fucking call this man Jimothy. Yeah, does he introduce himself after we give our names, or after I give my name? Mm. Uh, <clears throat> um, so he, he looks at you after you give your name. Oh, I see. So, which name should I, <laughs> like, starts, Wait. uh, saying it, like, speaking to his brother in Abyssal? Which I don't speak. Mm -hmm. no, I don't either. I don't know that one. I got nothing. I got nothing either. So, Vardun talks him and, like, just says, uh, So, you just can call me Kars. Spells how? Spell the K? Yes. Karst? Uh, Karst. Karst. So, C A R Z T. Karst. Oh, it's fancy. It's got a Z in it. That determines so, if it's fancy. I mean, you don't see a lot of names, a lot of Z's these days that ain't fancy. Just say. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I mean, I could be wrong. There are many names with Z's, but Abyssal's and infernal names tend to be more frequent in the common tongue. Right, for my notes, I put large demon, brother of far, crab claw guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wrote Bardoon Cambian. Kava Karst? Karst. Karst. Right. I need to make that a Z. Um. I wrote crab. Crab, people. Yeah. Crab. Drinks like people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. We were just finishing our first accord. With the ceiling of. Well. Information for heads. Clarification, please. <laughs> you will let us stay. You will let us stay here, or me and my party stay here, depending on the, a well, number of people, depending on the amount of information I give. Well, amount and quality, I assume. Quality over quantity. What, is... what kind of information does he want? Information on this island. Worry. What happens? What happens and who owns it? Hmm. Uh, let me start with the biggest part of information about the empire that has laid claim to this land and uses it, uses it for the war games. And I will tell him about the place we came from, which name I actually don't remember because it's been so long. Mm -hmm. But you know, the place was aspired, the tournament of champion thing. Emerus. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him. There. I'll tell him about the land, the god, the god emperor, and the fact that they lay claim to this land and use it as entertainment for slain. You, you see, like, a furrow of the brow as soon as you say, uh, the god king of Emerus. Hmm. 
Yeah, and you keep going and explaining the details of the the current challenges and a tournament that's going on. Mm, yep. well, well, would we also explain that he doesn't like being the God King? That he doesn't like that title? Uh, no, I don't explain that at all. Okay. You don't? <laughs> nope, because I am unaware of that information. <laughs> well, fuck. Me, Akir and Akir Claire and does Claire. not know that. Or at least, at least didn't retain it. I'm pretty sure he I'm said it in his speech. Yeah, I was more focused on the who... who <laughs> I was more focused on, hey, who, are, am I going to win? I, I can win! I can do this! You listen, <laughs> ADD Akir. Some things happen, okay? Yeah. Something just happened. Uh, attention doesn't just happen. It it just can happen. <laughs> yeah. So no, I did not mention. I did not mention that the god. I did not mention that the god king does not like being told to go being referenced as a god king because that's information I totally forgot. Yeah. And so that a care would forget. You go through the details and things like that. Um, after being done with the. The inventory of the information about Emrys, uh, he says, one head. And then after the tournament happened, like, the rules and such, two heads. Okay, and so that's five. We have that's more five. than five. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven. I need two, I need two more heads worth of information. For our party. You got any good Do you rat people out? <laughs> uh, uh, no, I do not. I do not tell. But I will tell. But I will tell what I know about what I know about some of the uh, contestants here. And oh, well, that's what I meant. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't rat out where anyone is because I don't know where anyone is. But I will write out that one goddamn group, group we spent like an hour and a half trying to track yeah, down. Yeah, the assholes will wrap them out. Yeah, the going this way for some time. Yeah, we'll write on them. We'll Did they have out. a magic rug? What's up? What? I ask, do they have a magic rug? I don't think so. I have no information on that. I don't think they do. They just had a lot of people that were angry. No. We, we, there's evidence that they might have. Yeah, I they mean, have something yeah. that lets them float. At yes. fast Maybe? Speed. And I'll, I'll tell Maybe. them this. Uh, I will tell them about the bracelets, though. And that, ex that the power of the things we kill unlocks our latent potential that is hindered by the bracelets. Uh, we have That's another head. My party has fully unlocked there, so we are at full strength, but there are some who might mm. still be weak out there. Need? Would you like to make a deception check on that? No, oh, fuck. Is it deception? It is. It is. Not, a, not everybody is at full strength. The oh, monoclass people are not at full strength. Oh, I, I guess, yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know I was deceiving, but team sure. is at full strength. Yeah, well, you can you can choose to change what you say, or gotta, you I mean, can gotta, choose to deceive. No, I, I was I said it. I'll do it. I got a plus a lot. That's twenty one. Uh, okay. He's sitting here just like vamping at this point. Yeah, and you know what? I got bardic inspiration just in case that's not enough because these things are pretty insightful. I love that I, I can't see shit I about what you're rolling. Roll I didn't mean to roll that many times. Uh. So that's 25. Okay. But but I tell them that our part that my party is back up to full strength and we are and we're uh we're going to gun to win this competition. Yeah, but there, there's a good chance that there's a lot of people on the island who have not yet reached full strength. And how many days are there? left two well the rest of this day and two others yes uh is it on the third day it's that we're told where the extract thing it's like yep. on the 
So we're told we're extra thing and we have to get there at X amount of time. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'll, I'll tell him I'll tell him that we don't know where the extract is going to be until the third day. Well, if this is the case, and each person's life is worth several uh, points, I think we could make a deal for something later, if you wouldn't mind a proposal. Let's finish this current deal, and we'll see how the parties feel tomorrow. It is open to discussion. Because the, no, he the, the way I hear is the way I hear is they have a number of people possibly captured. Yes, indeed. And, and you could trade them we for were, points. We could trade them for points. We have quite a few, enough to levy some options for you. For you. Um, I would like to insight that. Sure. Sure. I what are you know, trying to insight? <laughs> does he actually have like? Does he actually have options, or is he just like just like bluffing? Bluffing. bluffing. Like, like, what are you acting? Who has echo? Like? I don't that know. That is Vaughn. Oh, um, mute us, please. Yes. Sorry. Like, does what? he actually? Yes. Does he actually have options, or is he just vamp? Like, is he just like bluffing? What is and, uh, like? What is the roll? Oh, I can roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll inside. Okay. Normal. Well, that's eleven. That's pretty shit. That is fine. Hard to read. That doesn't shock me. I'm just hearing his voice. Um. And then my other question is, um, does he seem genuine? Like he wants to help us? Or is he just going to tell us what we need to hear? And then, like, because, like, my worry here is, sure, he can do exactly what he did and say, yeah, sure, I'll let these people loose. But these people are also still trying to kill people. They could still kill us. And then that's us, a Cambian, whoever the fuck that man is, whatever the other one is, plus all these people. Oh, like, we're, not gonna tr- we're not gonna try to fight these, these uh, devils? No. No. I didn't say that. I just said that they could be trying to kill us. Let out all these people. Get the field crowded. I don't know. Like, I just want to make sure he's not going to double cross this. Like, does it feel genuine? So, so with that 11, it definitely feels genuine. Hmm. He's hard to read. Hey, wh- hey, Holson. If you want, you can use my reroll. I'm thinking about using mine, because I don't like this. I mean, we're dealing with um, someone... We're dealing with someone... I- I've been in here this entire time. You can have mine. No, I have one. I'll use mine. Um, Because I don't like this at all. Does Gallon have any insight? That's better. It's 21. No. No. uh, He definitely feels like he has the ability to give options. Does it feel genuine? It uh, does sound and feel genuine from him. Based on the information he knows. Um, I will send a message to Akia after hearing that and just... He sounds genuine and he sounds like he is telling the truth about his options, but I will warn you to be wary that you don't know how many people he has down there. What if he only has three? Just enough for all of you. Akira or what will, if he will, has... 
Akira will tell her and everyone on the link psionically saying, I have no intention of making deals with the devil for so and so. He I mean, I do think you should free those people because they're going to be trapped on this island forever. Yeah, they'll be teleported out. We're not, we didn't tell them about that. They're about to feel safe. Um, I would also ask... And, like, as they're talking, like, and she's hearing the questions, um, a bit later down the road, she'll just... He said... So, we have enough for our team. What information is he looking for to get the other two? <clears throat> so, the the bracelets was another one, so now we only need one more. Um, and Akira will lean on the chair. We'll lean on a chair. Um, yeah. Swirling but the cup of water. I just have a few messages. Uh, swirling his cup of water in hand as he thinks. Oh, let's see. I don't know if I have much more worth, um, worth ahead, but what type of information is it you may want to know yourself? I might know something that I cannot pick, that I cannot pluck out without a guide. I am fairly well traveled. Um, I have heard of this God King, and. If this place is used as this way, there's no worry of us being considered squatters. So. I am thinking. I am thinking of. Information of your other opponents wouldn't be too unhelpful. Oh. It would Not a probably push a little bit more if you oh, were God, able to <laughs> deal you know about the others <gasps> he didn't ask anything no Akira didn't pay any attention to the other groups he's like I'll deal with that situation mm -hmm. when we get there and all the other people who know something don't like this deal nope yeah, because you're you're currently sitting at three heads not seven Mm -hmm. What? What he already gave me? Yeah, he gave me three heads plus the three heads we were at, plus the three heads before. Which is six. six. Yeah. Yeah, six. So we need one more for us. One um, more for our group. Um, and anything. Then we, tell, then we can tell the other groups not to come down into the chasm. Ooh, you know what? I got beef with somebody. I'll I'll out them. <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead. Tell me anything. Akira doesn't. Um, Akira has no beef with any of these groups. The only group he won't give up is Miska's. He will um, happily say anything so else. I don't have beef with a group generally, but I will say that um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Main map, main map, main map. Let me figure out this stupid country name that I can't ever say right. Um, Daria Uspos. Da Uspos. Yeah, I got beef with them. Fuck them. Um. So you can give information that several. Now nah, I don't know how true this is, oh. but I do know that there's a few. There's a few information that there are several. Ill, um, operators from Uspos looking to gain favor. On this island. Oh. And you, Uspos on, is a are, very... Are you talking about, um... Not talking about my boy, but there are several other people from Uspos here. I know, I'm drawing yeah. a blank. I don't want... I don't want it. I don't want it. No, don't want there it. it is. Are you talking about Bellis' brother? No, I don't really have beef with Bellis' brother. But, I know that, um... 
the other guy that took Bellos. Um, I just want... I want Uspos to feel humbled, personally. Um, and Uspos is a very insular majocracy. And if they get humbled by a fucking Cambion and Mr. Crab Claws over here, so be it. Okay. Just say that there's several... <laughs> Several cocky little wizards on this island, and they need to be humbled. Akira will turn, will like sort of turn away as he talks with Holson. Holson, that way, it looks like he's looks like he's thinking, like trying to grab information. And he says, "I'm gonna need some inform Say more information." <clears throat> he, he says to Holson, "I'm gonna need more information on them. What they look um... like. Wh where where do you believe on the island they could have landed?" Um, there are, oh gosh, I know several wizards from Uspos. Oh, I'm just going to give a vague description of one. Um, and, uh, I'll turn back to the Cambion hey. and I will, and I will tell him the information as Holson gives it to me about these people from Uspos <sighs> and about the, and about their, uh, magical ways. So if they're interested in mages, this is a... You know, potential, potential targets. Yeah, if they're interested in power, they have a lot of it. Um, but basically, she's going to give you the description of um, she's going to give you the description of the man that is was essentially I, I guess he's still in charge of fellows. The man, that man. Um, not Bellus's brother. The other he's one. He's under that same thing. But, um, the, she's gonna give you that description. Black card? And, yes. She's gonna give you that, and it doesn't matter if it's true or not. As long as you pull it off. But, she's gonna give you the description of that man and how he has several people and... Um, injuring those people would injure Uspos, which would then leave Uspos open for other things. Because if you take out a big boy in Uspos, that's a power vacuum right there. And who doesn't love a power vacuum like the fucking fiends? So, yes, that's I will relay that. I will relay That's that my information. Thought I will relay that information, but in more polite terms. Nice. More nice. More nice. You see, so if you're still in the ring, you see Holson like just talking with her hands, like, because she's relaying this message just out loud as she's talking. So everybody in there, like, looks at her like Charlie from Yeah, Good. Always Sunny. Always Sunny. She looks insane because she's like, you know what? Fuck these people. <laughs> See, now Wholesome starting to get, get the fun here what happens with this. Well, I need a place to sleep tonight. And also, yeah. the yeah. conscience didn't last very long. Did <laughs> the conscience... You know what? Some people deserve to be humbled. And it's a lie. So, it's a half-truth. Because he does have people here. But he himself is not here. So, that's what I'm hoping you go with. The half-truth that is, he and his people are here. So, would me giving out the group of the mages interest them? If you give full detail on them and what you perceive them to be able to do, we'll give you another head. What okay. if if Holson, you Holson knows more about these mages than I do. So my question here is if Akir gave the half truth that of the big boy mage archmage, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, okay. 
if he gave the half-truth of an archmage and his team here? The archmage You're... isn't... Oh, I there. didn't say he was here. Yeah. I didn't say he was there. I said he could tell a half-truth, because his team, some of his team is here. Yeah. But if you say he's here, that means they're a half-truth. Uh, I won't believe... It's mostly I won't believe... true. I don't think I'll lead them to believe that the Archmage himself is here, but I'll let them believe that they... Oh, I'll tell them that the Archmage's lackeys are here, and messing with them could, desperately, could definitely mess with him. But we need to know what the mages can do. What spells have you seen them cast? Um, it's a... mostly... Um, I think you were in a competition her... with them. Yeah, um... So... I'm not going to give up the people that I was in a competition with, but I know that, that this guy's lackeys are mostly into um, mind control, a lot of, um, like, and taking that kind of power and maybe replacing it um, with a different kind of power. Like, they have a lot of mind control properties. Nobody knows how they're doing it. And if Mr. Cambian can figure out how they're doing it. And then get in on it. And or. Like there's just a lot of power potential for this Cambian right there. And that's what I'm thinking about playing on. Am I able okay. to weave that together in a way that might seem appealing? Like an... We're roll me a persuasion check. Okay. Persuasion. I'm good. Just in case, you never know. Bard against Brave. I get those at a short rest. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. It seems to intrigue him definitely. Well, you've definitely earned yourself another hat with these. Hey, my other brother should be coming by here soon. So we shall greet your group next. Uh, with open arms. If that is the number of, well, your entirety. That is the number of that I am currently traveling with, yes. Then the other group may make a men's or well we donate their time to we have opened the door their safety. Them. We have opened the door for them. It is up to them now to earn their keep. Indeed. Well, this has been very much a pleasure. If you see high concentration of magic in the area, there is a chance that the competition has an event going on. For fun, you could okay. intervene. The thing with that is, subterfuge is not on the lacking part when it comes to confusing creatures in the dark. It is not time for that, though. I do take this information and very much thank you for it. And there is another uh, heavy no set of footsteps oh. from a different hall that you didn't recognize yet. As a twelve foot. Oh, how big are these boys? Devils or fiends love to be big because it's intimidating. Scary. Twelve foot tall creature, almost like a luxodon of sorts, but it has five eyes on its head, with almost like a tapered centipede-like trunk Disgusting. with two 
large tusks that hang low across their chest that also have this almost carapace-like skin across their forearms in layers. Is this the new devil that was released? Or not new devil, but the new one? Sounds from why did you, why did we pick the hideout with the ugliest things? You could have been on the other side of this. I could have been. I mean, hey, at least the ugly things aren't openly attacking us. No, yeah, sure. yeah, no, that's a new devil. Or the, I keep saying devil. The new thing. Ew. Fiend. God, those things look fascinating. Why the fuck does it look like an ant? Ant eater. <laughs> Why does it look like the bastard child of a of a mind flayer? Look at the uh, look at the the trunk. There are eyes going up and down the trunk. There are. I I don't like any I don't like fucking periscope. Very much. I don't like how many eyes there are. I okay. hate this. All the better to see you with. <laughs> I don't think anybody needs to see me actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I sure is not being received anymore. Is holding a staff that has moving appendage like tentacles on the top of it that seems to swirl in an almost spiral. I guess I should open that to show it to stream. Uh, to, for, be, I already know what this monster is like, and so I know some of his stat block. I'm not going to metagame, but I will say the name out loud for the recording. Yes, this is a malefant. Yeah, a malefant. Mm. It, is, it is a uh, difficult... Bad beat. elephant. It is a high, a high uh, CR fiend creature. Yeah. Bad and elephant. He, and the pincy one is called a glabrasu. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to show this picture. Well, yeah, this name, um, I think that one's my favorite right now. Elephant. So, um, Vaughn is going to have a... Uh, He's going to have a okay. thinking posture. And he's going to uh, look over to Holson. Those messages that you have for the other teams. Why tell I tell to stay away would, from this area. That, that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have them both meet us at the coast where we could have gone. The second option. Warn them that there might be a chance that uh, we did see some group activities. We have found ourselves shelter in the mountains, but it is advised that they stay away. Yeah, do yeah. not come here. Do, do yeah, not. Do not. If y'all want, okay. want to live and breathe, do not come. Also, the only thing is if they see the... Or if you can find some way to add do not attack the stone creatures that they they might see I near the mountains. Got words. I know, so... Words. A beat is like, on uh, coast, on coast, stay away mountain, we safe, don't attack stone creatures. Yeah. I don't uh, talk like that. <laughs> that's ten. Okay. So, so first, first point. Actually, first point. Okay. Vaughn, you've recognized this creature. This type of creature. The, 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 the font? Yes. Oh, dear. What the fuck did you do to piss this thing off? Uh, no, not this one specifically. He says this type of creature. Yep. This type of creature was there during the night raid. Oh. oh. So, so when this thing showed up, that's when Vaughn went into his deep thought process immediately, like like a flinch. Um. All right, so that's noted. Um, so Vaughn thinking, 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 and then says, okay, so first point, most important point. We need to have both teams meet one another at the corner of the coast, meeting the mountains. Easy for us to find them as soon as we finish our rest. So, advised, meet on the corner coast, or meet on the coast where the mountains meet the forest. Which is that location right there. Right? Okay. okay. So, 
meet on the yeah meet on the coast where the mount meet on the coast. Well, I, I, can, let you... I can I can figure out the word. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, who so am I meet in this location? Miska. Miska and who? Your your girl. Like only... um, what's her name? I've never met her. No, uh, you, we've Ms. all met each other. No. Yeah, all, yeah. All over. Never met her. No. I've only um, met the blonde man. Well, him then. Oh. Then him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to message yeah, the to Elliot. First. Okay, so I'm just gonna message to Elliot first. All right. Okay. Um. Uh. Secondly, we can't rendezvous, but we're safe. Ish. See you in the morning. So something along those lines. So we should tell them that okay. we're safe for the evening, and if they're there, we can meet meet up with them first thing in the morning. Okay, I'm gonna send a message to Elliot. Okay. Right. Um. Gotta get my hands out. Hold on. Hi, Elliot. We're safe. In the Cinderstone Mountain. Meet us at the edge of the forest on the beach in the morning. Questions? I can't give them answers. I don't know why I said questions. <laughs> okay. You get... I, first of all, I need you to roll me a D100 because you're technically not on the same plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do I gotta reach? Do I just not need to roll a one? Is that what it is? Show me a D100. I don't like this. I don't want to waste a spell, guys. Um. Would you like to try to push it? I want to roll a D100. I don't know what that does, and I am frankly afraid. So, and I don't want to do any intent magic with these barkers around. I don't know what they can send. I, I'm going to ask you, do you want to roll the D100 or no? I do want to roll the D100. I just, I got to find it in Foundry. <laughs> um, the fuck are my dice? Here they are. Roll. 92. Okay. To go through? Just making sure of something. Am I gonna blow up the dimmy plane? Not too big. Oh. Okay. You wait a second. And you can get a message back. Currently having fun. Um meet you there questions uh how are you i can't answer what was that enough but if he could answer <laughs> stressed i think he can hear my broken broken message that i sent him how stressed i, I, I am i think i can it, and you hear silence Hmm. Okay. And then you Hopefully hear his voice again. <laughs> oh, thank God. Ah, uh, okay. hello? Is this working? I hope it is. Um, yeah, having fun killing frogs. Uh, a lot of frogs. There was a big frog, and I... I, I, I made a... What was it called? <laughs> it goes silent again. Colton's going to respond to this one quickly before he sends another one, because that's what she feels like is about to happen. 
and um, the ears once again. <laughs> uh, you can still just send <laughs> back. She, she's just going to... I'm so glad for you that you're having fun. Tell your group that we'll convene in the morning, and I'm doing well. Ish. Glad you're not here. It's bad. <laughs> And you, as he's like, I made a big frog leg on a spit and like, oh, you're talking now. And like some silence. What do you mean it's bad? Do you need me to come for you all? No, we're safe. Ish. Just, you know. Fiends. I don't really know what they look like. I haven't been outside this ring. <laughs> oh, gross. Okay. That's <laughs> fine then. Uh, I was like, it's oh, not gross. I will send the same thing to Miska. But say, hi, Miska, instead. <laughs> um. I won't say questions at the end because I don't want anyone to ask questions. Because <laughs> I have no more spells. Mm -hmm. So you say the same thing. Confirmed. Currently being hunted. Must lose them. Meet you there in mourning if we do not tell a care to proceed. I look to, because I don't say those out loud, I look to Vaughn and just, they're doing fine. They'll be here, maybe. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah. And then just again, Vaughn, just in deep contemplation. Yeah. This one comes forth. We have found... Scouts. And as you get a closer look, Vaughn, there's a myriad of prayer beads. And talismans from various walks of life. Quite a few of them are from Clickarg. He might be your guy, actually. <laughs> he, he, he very much will be, but that's... Uh... But yeah, no, just, Vaughn's just kind of being uh, cautious at the moment. You seem to have this will in hand. I will leave it to you. And walks past and goes into the secondary tunnel. All right. Well, the door is open, and the way is open, and the pact is sealed. Uh, I can't really look at the uh, the big elephant thing and walk away, and look back to the champion. He's not very talkative, is he? He's very focused. So my party and I are safer than I. You are, and we can plush up your residence for the day. The Galadurs, or as well as their construction, the Cinders, can carve out you a, well, a very lush place, and I can furnish it for the night. At what charge? Let's say, in anticipation for more business. I can't promise that there will be more business, but... Then, we will maybe talk. in anticipation for not business, but pleasure. 
We will see. As he like sips <laughs> on his on his water with like the the little L, like staring intently at you, being cheeky. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but uh, we will we will very well very much like just privacy if possible. Your business shall be yours, so long as you stay within your domicile. Very well. When we leave the domicile, it will be to leave this cave. Yes. And here we'll give him a polite nod as he stands. Mm. And he will, uh, he'll look back and he'll sort of like take the honey treat and hold it in his hand. He'll take the honey treat and he'll hold it as he follows one of the rock creatures away. Mm -hmm. uh, as the the cinders or galabders, whichever you want to call them, uh, start to carve out a basically stone igloo. Oh, hey, it works. Perry <laughs> is amazed. As they seem to like just with with rough hewn hands and like actually made of stone move large boulders and then almost carve the shape and dig it all out and the more terrifying thing about it is is that the large boulders that they're moving they just tap it twice and then bitches roll on their own what the fuck elementals the rockers yeah. Literally, they have animate boulder. Aha! Uh -huh. Which, which uh, literally gives sentience to boulders. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm right. Rock herders. Yeah. So when the uh, area so, yeah. gets carved, when the area gets carved out, and uh, and we walk in, I'll begin. I'll begin the ritual casting of tiny hut, just in case. Uh huh. Just carve that into the ground. Takes uh, takes eleven minutes. So while I'm doing that, yeah. hey, you guys can either come out of the ring or stay in there until the time wears out or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, specifically, uh, while in deep thought, Vaughn is going to look to uh, to the rest of the people in the uh, in the uh, in the ring in the party. If you all don't mind, I'm going to begin a rest. Or I'm going to meditate now, sooner rather than later. If uh, so, that way I am at least at my ca I'm, I'm at least at my capabilities sooner than well oh. is ne hopefully is necessary. If anyone has any objection, feel free to let me know. But oh right, you're a full elf. Yep. So, uh, four while hours some people good. still have two hours before they start their long rest, I'm going to have Vaughn start it now, so that two hours into the rest, he's already ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you you have five hours left in the ring, because he just hopped in. Yep. So, I'm going so, yeah. to take advantage of that. Right on. So, hey, yeah. With the uh, travel, how, how many hours would Holson have? In that with range? that travel... You have like one left, one, two. You have about, because you're full elf, you have like yeah. one hour left. Cool. I will, um, I'll just hop out as soon as the thing is done. Yeah. You notice from far away, uh, you see Vardun, uh, Look, looks over at you and sees, like, just from a distance that you're casting something. And, uh, as per the pact, leaves you to your business. As all these galabders just get to carving. <laughs> They're just doing their job. Yep, they're they're working.
But yeah, uh, just get the tiny hut just in case uh, something happens because you never know. I mean, I think that thing is a demon, so I don't know if it's going to hold it to a pack. Packed. But hey, it's, it's whatever. So, yes. The uh, Ever Zoo continues eating little bits of, like, the the hors d'oeuvres and the, the appetizers that were still at that table and just makes it, like, a platter and basically so long young um misses and like just starts to like walk off Um, As he, like, I regard Kyan, 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 and Harry. So, Harry will wave and just, it's nice meeting you. Yeah, yeah, you, nice night, uh, have a nice night, nice meeting you, we'll keep on rolling. If you okay. need the services of me or my brothers, inform the Sindors. Um, will do. But, but my father, we'll be sure to keep our own, and we won't be much part, we won't be much trouble to you when you can. You are no trouble, you are guests. I'm thankful of you, but, but we got it from here. You don't, don't, be, don't bother yourselves on little old me and our friends here. Very well. And just goes doom, 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 doom. Uh, as, as everyone begins like gathering in the room, he'll look towards uh, Cayenne and Perry, or and be like, oh, "That could have gone worse." <sighs> oh God, I think I felt my soul leave the body. Hmm. Thank you. But incredibly, with uh, the Glapper Zoo and the Cambian leaving, it does lessen in heat. <laughs> you're like closing in on the 90s with them right there Oof. well luckily the inside of the tiny hut is at a modern temperature mm -hmm. so it's nice and cool <laughs> inside the hut oh Perry Perry would say it's like warm Perry you okay I have a dumb little headcanon that Perry's always cold <laughs> for no other oh, reason than she's cold so here we go. Oh, so you need me to you need my hair my my soft my soft hair is a blanket to that. No, I'm so comfortable right now, it's not even funny. I'm, I feel great. Uh, Akira will probably just sit will probably just sit turn and he'll begin playing a uh, just playing music until he gets tired enough to sleep because we still have like eighteen hours left in the day or not not eighteen hours. I think. We still have 16 hours left in the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Halister, like, looks at the rest. So, are we, like, just having deep parties with fiends and stuff now? <laughs> Trust me, this wasn't as pleasant as it looked. We're not in the ring. We're outside. <laughs> like, did... I didn't see, like, full-on features, but... That third one looked fucking huge. He did look like he a big one. He was a big shadow. Uh, Akira will reach, will reach out and take his ring back from Perry. Just... Oh yeah, she yeah. Once they're like settled, she would have given it back to you. Like I don't like being responsible for anybody else. I was terrified the whole time I was gonna drop this thing. Oh. I don't like that. Well, don't need to worry about it. I can create a new one in an hour. Not with people inside of it. Oh, no, they'll just come out and surprise everyone. They'll be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll, I'll reach in. I'll look inside the ring and be like, and be like, uh, Vaughn, do you think this is poison as I hold the the honey thing up to it? <laughs> uh, can Gallant smell for poison? Not through a fucking glass. Because <laughs> mm. I. This thing is my favorite flavor. It smells so good. I really want to eat it. 
Oh, it's it's a flaky biscuit with like a little bit of ham and jelly. Like, I mean, it, they're aware I mean, of our existence, right? Oh, they seem to know that something funky was going on at the ring. Um, and counting in the amount of times he spaced, it is likely that there were you were either hiding somewhere or in something. Uh, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, and also we stopped at exactly seven questions. There are seven party members. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Eventually, you guys are going to leave anyway, because Gallant... Gallant is about to be shunted out. Yeah, Gallant, Halster, and Holson yeah. only have about an hour left in the ring. The Gallant yeah, is the longest, out, so he'd be the first to pop out. Yeah, I said it would pop out as soon as the... Um... Halster has, okay. like, two more hours. All oh, right, he went in later. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah. So Gallon Gallon comes out of the ring, and Sniff he was like, "He's like, is this poison to you?" So do I roll perception? That would be investigation. Shit, at the advantage though, because nose. Investigation? Um, yeah, Gallen, investigation, because you don't have cooking tools. Galen, you have healing hands, so if I eat this and get poisoned, you can stop that, right? Yeah, 17, and yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you don't believe it's poisoned. Awesome. It, it here starts eating it. It is the to... fucking most scrumptious motherfucking thing. So sweet. Man, and if you don't like, learn how to recreate this... Vaughn, if you don't learn how to recreate this recipe, I will be very upset. It's like a little doughy, too. Like, in all the right places. Like, the, the center bit is just so fucking good. Yeah, no. I'm not sure if the mental link transfers, like, subtle emotions. Like, he's not afraid, but he's, like, there's an over-conscious air around him. Yeah. It's, it's just... Uh, if you hold on to a little bit of it, I can maybe do something about backwards bait or backwards cooking it, so to speak. But make sure you save some if you want me to try. I will save him ha the half of it. Uh, the, o the only thing that it says is that in order to send a message, you must you must be able to speak at least one language. So that's all it has. Hmm. You and the creature don't need to speak a common language to understand each other. All right, I wasn't sure about emotions. That's a liking. But, I yeah, will I'll let you it. choose if your emotions seem to come through the telekinetic. Just, just in that case, I'll say there's just an over air of caution specifically directed towards the font. Yeah. So yeah, Akira will save you half of the biscuit thing, so you can try to replicate it. Because goddamn, he wants more. Mm -hmm. I kind of, and I'm just kind of just gonna be like, who knew demons can cook? I just thought they eat babies and all that. Anything to appeal to their clientele. So they just have a baker on hand, a demonic little baker with a little, little chef apron and everything. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, they'll just. <laughs> so, so, I will be over here playing music to keep us from going mad uh, during our rest. If you need anything, feel free to contact me. Or if you have a request. Yep. Need a partner, and I just hold, let me just pull out my um, I pull my glar out. Sure, if you would. Sure, if you'd like. You Could actually be. hear a funk, funk, funk from the dome, and as you look o over, there is a gallop which seems to have like two pebbles, 
that are like triangular shaped and then one round ish like little rock made for like a bow tie on its neck oh my god and and fucking says in like slap slap me speech aka the primordial speech of stone uh fucking i will be your server or assistant if you need to contact management are you shit me these what servants and everything that is the cutest <laughs> fucking thing i have ever i love it <laughs> Oh, uh, you didn't meet Rockchild. Akir is partly thinking, I wonder if we could take one with us. Oh, okay. Akir? I don't think he can afford that right now. Yeah, okay. no. no, he didn't yeah, say it out loud. He didn't say it out loud. Hey, I specifically said he's thinking. He didn't say it out oh. loud. <laughs> Above board? I don't think you have the what it would take to purchase that. Hey, Tet and Fate with that. Probably not. I mean, there's always a deal to be made. But I'm doing, um, I'm doing my song, basically doing my song arrest. So oh, anybody, okay. so Sorry, anybody, God. oh yeah, I'm doing a song arrest. So if anybody wants to, uh, while they, if they can hear the song for at least an hour, you can roll a D8 and add it to your hit points. Yeah, and um, um do, you, do you want a partner to join around the merry make music merry making? My glar. <laughs> I have no issue. I have no problem with it. Yeah, sit in the spell. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, ease attention. It's just my music that adds the literal healing factor to people's wounds. If you, I can play whatever song you would like. And if you wish to join, well, maybe more healing will come. Yeah, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I do not mind one bit. No need for you to have all. No need for you to do all the heavy lifting. Alright. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm debating whether or not having here switch from his calming music to bluegrass. <laughs> yeah. So, Vaughn, as you're in deep contemplation with the other three currently standing with you and, like, deliberating and as you, your consciousness flows into the mind palace with them, they look to you and say, you noticed it too, didn't you? I, I did. I'm not What's quite... What are you going to do about it? What? See, there's... There's the obvious that one would be able to take as a path, and that is to, mayhaps, well, the most foolish, I will be the first to say, is to find some sort of retribution towards this creature for one reason or another. I noticed the totems, the, the medallions, the emblems, and while I do not feel like that creature was the exact same one that attacked my village. I... I can't... I, I, I don't feel... <sighs> Anger isn't the word. Don't get me wrong, I'm cautious around it. It's almost on an instinctual level. But... I'm wrought with more questions than emotions, so to speak. Um, above board. Uh, during the conversation, they mentioned they've been here for roughly four years. Yes. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> yeah, they, they said like four years. Well, the Campion said that they've been habitating there for four years. Mm-hmm. Which, no, no, that's exactly it. That, that's exactly it. Which is the thought. Which is where the thought process is going. They've 
inhabited this location for roughly four years is it's it's the thought process of is this where it all started so to speak all the violence all the danger that came across the card two years ago is this where they just started planning or is this just Are you daft? No! You see all these little bumpkins? These little, like, fucking... vermin? No way this is where it started. No, I'm not saying particularly where it started. What I mean is, like... Is... is well, now that you say it out loud, it does sound foolish. But, but I will say, laddie... This one does seem to have an iota of something that we think you may want more than information. I'm going to, um, I would like to do some insight to see if I can guess what he's gesturing or what he's, uh, what he's talking about. Can I? Sure. Alright, hold on. Do, 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 do. Uh, insight. Ding. Damn. Uh, that That's just bad. I have a plus seven, I roll a nine. Uh, Vaughn narrows his eyes. I don't follow. Because uh, you're not observant. Feel free to use my reroll because I'm not going to use it tonight. All right, all right. Thank you. I thought I said it earlier, much but much better. I, I forgot I was muted. Seventeen. That was much 17? better. Yeah. You're still not quite sure what they're fucking talking about. This is the first time that they said they're besides a fight. <laughs> what do you mean something you may want? When you say something I may want, I'm guessing you're directing my attention towards something that he was wearing? And I say that as an actual guess. Precisely. There was a specific bead on one of those prayer beads. That had a similar marking. Such as where we are encased and where you're Power scarf. Uh, Vaughn will uh, reach up to his head, and in the mind palace, um, not in the physical realm, but inside his mind palace, the the jewel is embedded into his head. Mm-hmm. So um, he reaches up and he touches it. But what would it take? not confident in my deft hands to attempt to do something at the moment. I'm, I'm intrigued, don't get me wrong. And I'm very much more invested in the fact that you've mentioned it. You don't often mention those kind of things other than just the physical training, but now that we're two years in, it's fallen more towards... Mayhaps I could... No. I don't feel like I can openly risk a cure's mission to threaten maybe maybe tomorrow morning. Perhaps I could enlist Perry. Maybe Cayenne. The likelihood of not being caught is slim to none. Which is where my hesitation is. To be fair... With all those amulets, prayer beads, and holy symbols, it's fair to say he's been at to your home before. I noticed that as well, and there's there's a part of me, an old part of me, that, well, based on my past, would have immediately taken on, taken it upon oneself or themselves to well 
fight back in the name of the people, in the name of masters that are no longer mine. But I'm not that same person. So it's not the idea that he was in my home. There were many who are in my home. And again, that very same one may not have visited my village. It might very well have been. I can't say for certain off the top of my head. A lot of that night was still a blur. But... So don't think of it for other people. Think of it for you. Closure. To understand what actually happened and why it did. And also, a little bit of, um, as one would likely say, getting your shit off your chest. Well, that's, that's very much where... I, I think you're confused. It would be very simple to find someone who would take on that very same mindset. I'm not angry, so to speak. Nor do I seek revenge in any way, shape, or form. But how to go about it, I, I do wish to do something, and I don't know where this need is coming from. I think it might be exactly what you mentioned, the want for the speed. But I also have to wrestle with the idea that it won't just be me affected by it. Two years ago, a year ago, maybe, it would have been a little bit more, while still risky and still dangerous, would have been an easier decision. Yeah, two years ago, you also sucked. <laughs> a year ago, not as much, is why I specified that. And I agree with you, I wasn't, wasn't my old self the back then. The point he's trying to say. It's not about that. It's probably about justice. Having your inner self be at peace finally. And to hope that it doesn't happen to any others again. Finding out the source of why you were, well, exiled. Not to mention what happened to us. May be the key okay. to relieving yourself of it. But it's your decision. We won't make you do it. But opportunity is slim. Opportunity is slim. And the chances that you'll be able to find this island and be on it by yourself or even have them be anywhere near you. The mental link will last for not much longer. I'll need to find counsel with Akir beforehand and ask if he'd be willing. But maybe, maybe there's a way for me to do so and accomplish multiple things. Mayhaps challenge that beast to some sort of task for it, but that way it only would affect me, not so much a Just deal. make sure it's not an eating contest, because you're fucking like a limp noodle, and that is a monster. <laughs> I would be an absolute fool to challenge that thing to consuming anything. Mind you. Maybe I could convince it into a race, perhaps? Yeah. The elephant will definitely accept a race. Like, a, a, almost as likely as I, I would accept a new like, 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 give him, f like, just like a little bit of a break. <laughs> yeah, no, no, just, and, and, and Bond just like, looks and is like, I, I, he's as likely to accept that kind of deal as I would be to accept an eating contest with such a creature. Not likely. It's just precaution. Precaution, yes, and while we're thinking about things. You give me a lip. As a matter of fact, I think I might be. Good for you. I am learning. Bad for you later. Shit. Uh, 
But yeah, so... Regardless, take your time, take your rest. You took quite a beating. So no training for this afternoon. Thank you. I will gladly do so. Besides, I have a lot of contemplation to contend with what would... If I were to ask maybe for a trade of some sort, what would he ask for that I would be willing to give? Maybe the Fiends. point is it would be something I wouldn't be willing to give. Things are... <sighs> troublesome. Because they want what you hold most dear sometimes, or things you don't even know that you would need. Exactly so. But, with all your friends at full strength, it might be time to monopolize. Well, hmm. Take advantage of certain aspects of the conversation we were able to pick up. Mayhaps. Nothing says that the people that are down there will be safe. Nothing says that they will be safe. Thank you for your counsel. And uh, ask your questions and state your case. Understood. And uh, and then Vaughn will sit in the center platform and uh, begin his meditation. Um. Because I. I do have an idea of what I would like to try. With that, we'll actually call it for the night. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, a slightly tense conversation that went well. No uh -huh. one died. Nobody died. Nobody died that you saw. No. Yeah. Well, no we don't care about those guys. Yeah, no one important. I never said that. Uh...